Hello, I am Austin Townen, and welcome to the Bottle Cap Brigade, the best D&D campaign you'll ever encounter. We're the live stream that gets drunk, we talk about D&D, but we just don't play it right. That's right, the rule books of D&D are just like fourth grade scholastic book fairs. You might be stoked as hell and buy a bunch of them, but when you get home, you're not actually going to read any of that shit. Speak for yourself. Oh, so true. <laughs> yes. I never did. Dude, who, I bought, you guys. who bought books at the Scholastic yeah, Fair? Yeah, what? You well, shut your mouth. Cool kids, and that's the <laughs> only did. reason they did it. No, it was that's all it. about like the toys well, and the games, dog. dog. It's, it's, I went it's, yeah. it's a it's a flex, just like 120 piece crayon boxes. Oh, uh, with the yeah. sharpener on the back. Ah, it's all about the gel pens. Oh, oh that was the fucking pen. gel pens. <laughs> <laughs> That was cool. I, I mean, that's like weird, like targeted sales at children, right? Like I just always oh, the, think about it now. I'm like, that's really not cool. And that worked really well. Why did the government get on board with that? They're like, yeah, this makes sense. Let's do that. Go Every time you go to the grocery store, like think about placement of food and stuff and mm -hmm. just where it's at specifically about like m targeting children for sales. Uh, the words targeting children and congruence aren't anything I, I can hear without For sales. something happening. <laughs> Welcome to the bottom Sale. cap brigade. Hey, welcome to the it's session. either that yeah. or we dismantle capitalism, so take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our options. Well, all right. Now, our other option is to introduce the bottle cap crew. Um, today, <laughs> we're going to do something historically different. It's completely unprecedented. For the bottle cap brigade and i i'm gonna are say are you gonna things. say a funny joke no i am going to say things that i appreciate about each and every one of you so here this feels we like a trick go yeah. it does doesn't it yeah it's a My heart it's a up. trap uh yeah, our first Admiral player Admiral. is uh a man that i value uh massively i think uh he's very very smart every time i talk to him i enjoy our conversations uh it's someone i get to connect with on a weekly basis and he taught me what has now become one of my favorite games match of the gathering it's austin von johnson as eridris <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah see how that works nothing me we're all it super just... scared I'm, yeah i'm really uncomfortable <laughs> I just got used to you being mean, and this just, it, it's been a year now. It's all it, took him, it took him 12 months for him to be like, I'm used to this now. <laughs> I like that. Um, all right, well, this is going to be a long thing then if this makes you guys uncomfortable. Um, all right, our, our next player uh, is, is a wonderful gal. I have not known her a hugely long time, but long enough to know that uh, she is incredible at everything she does. Uh, we debatably get along uh, at like an eight out of 10 and I value so much about the the artistry of who she is and she's so creative and amazing. Believe it or not, it's not Kat, Damn. but it is uh, Miranda Hey Killer Palacio <laughs> as Mars. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't write down your names this time, so I'm just like, I'm actually remembering, which is impressive for me. Uh, 8 out of 10, that's... Those are good numbers. Yeah. The B, baby. Yeah. Yeah, Kat, you're last. You're going to get a good one. Uh, this next person... I'm running away. Yeah. This next person uh, is Brothers in Baldness, is the apex <laughs> of broness and is absolutely my favorite dude to talk about anything that is not serious. I love this guy. He is my dude. It is Joe Fritz. Just kidding. It is Taylor Hawker as Togu. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's just had on a wig for all these sessions. Shut this up. Is, this, this, I mean, oh. sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what? This next dude, I have to really scrounge for something nice to say, but I will. Um, over the last year, this guy has become probably one of my closest friends. I really appreciate him. Everything that we uh, do together, it's like a, a partnership. And he is just like, he is like my guy to go to when I have any issues or advice. And in some ways mentors me. This is Sam Gates as Darrow. Love you, buddy.
I love you too. Uh, it's nice to hear those nice words that do not at all make any of us uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Because we're used to the exact opposite thing. It's <laughs> I know. Really yeah, fun. this is this is fun. <laughs> I it's like really this. fun. It's really fun. You're great. I'm, yeah. Thank you for all of the effort that you put towards uh, uh, all of this. It's, it's amazing. If anyone jumps on the stream, they just think we've got an old man who doesn't understand the interwebs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it's actually Sam this doing it on the purpose. the 58-year-old guy who plays D&D &D with us. <laughs> who has really nice Invisalign teeth now because he... They look great, man. Look at those really things. Nice. Yeah. All right. Like when... <laughs> it's like when Cat's dad him. was on for some all those sessions. Oh yeah. Oh, I can go get him if you wait. I have, yeah, I have something I can. Sorry, I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> He's out of town right now. <laughs> He's out of town. He's yeah. big smoke. <laughs> He's in a box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, this next person uh, is is someone I've known the least out of all of you, uh, but has consistently shown how uh, like incredibly artistic and creative she is. Um, she is so talented and apparently can pivot from any job to any industry and do it well. And all of her coworkers <laughs> dislike her. So it's a win-win. Uh, it is Kat Lizarraga as Esmeralda. <laughs> you said it right. You even yeah. kind of rolled your R. I tried. That was beautiful. Like, that was good. Have you been practicing it? Show every us. day, Thank every you. day. Yeah, I wake cool. up, I'm like Lizarraga. Please don't run. <laughs> it sounds like you're cursing me, but thank you. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Candles everywhere. Yeah, you're just trying to hear him cursing me. You're like, this is yeah. too I don't know. I don't know. In a mirror in the dark, and I'm like, if you say it three times, so will show up. <laughs> Cat yeah, Stan shows up. <laughs> well, I built up a lot of suspense about this, and uh, we'll just move on. Uh, do you have any announcements, Austin? No, I'm just kidding. Our <laughs> last player. <laughs> <laughs> our last That's player. <laughs> um, our last player is a dude I have easily known the longest out of anyone here. Like, not even, not even close. Um, and used to be one of my closest friends. And crazy to see how he came back to my into my life. And uh, I just, I love this dude. I make fun of him probably more than anyone else. But honestly, dude, I love you so much, man. You're an amazing guy. Uh, and it's Joe Fritz as Tax Slash Bear. I love you more. <laughs> I got the wink. If he gives you a right eye wink, it doesn't mean anything. It's the left eye that's really... Uh, he, it's the, it's that he got eye. you the, 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 the no double. move the other eye wink. Yeah. <laughs> now that I have like the this, the Lucille but... wink. Oh yeah, For... yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no effort put in, but yeah, it's tasty. Yeah, just the eyelid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that I have like a fake eye, like I don't know if it's still the same if I wink at people with that eye. I feel like it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it doesn't count. <laughs> Does it count? You should just do that every time you catch somebody like giving you one of these. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> Does that happen to you often? <laughs> I don't know. All right. No, we'll roll with it. Um, all right. Well, now it's time for our sponsors. First off, thank you so much for watching and contributing to our campaign. If you're an avid fan of tabletop games like ourselves, go to DiceEnvy.com slash Brigade and sign up for the original monthly dice box. You'll get cool new dice every month or choose what kind of dice you want, whether that's resin, metal, stone, or even wooden dice. And in turn, you'll also be supporting our stream, which is pretty freaking cool. You can also go to Incarnate.com and create your own customized maps to excite even the most stubborn Sam-like players to interact with your NPCs accordingly. Thank you again for being a part of the Bottle Cap family, and you can also support us directly at patreon.com slash the Bottle Cap Brigade. Uh, Austin, I think that there is some pretty cool stuff going on in our world that uh, maybe you know a lot about, and I I'd love for you to talk about it. Heck yeah, everybody. So um, we have been live streaming this for about a year now, and 
Uh, we're super stoked to announce that uh, we will be at the Gem State Comic Con uh, April 10th and 11th. This is in Garden City, Idaho. It's basically Boise. Garden City doesn't exist. And if, if you're from here, you know that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be there and it's going to be awesome. We'll be putting on a 45 minute one shot um, so you can come and watch us. Uh, we'll have a booth there set up so you can come meet us if you happen to be in the area. Also, we're going to be moderating uh, their celebrity panel. So you're going to see all sorts of the Bottle Cap Brigade at this Comic-Con. We could not be more excited about it. If you are in the area uh, April 10th and 11th, you should totally swing by and because we want to talk to you through our masks because it will be a safe event, um, but it will be an event. And it will be one uh, that is kind of the reason or one of the many reasons why you know we wanted to do this. So um, yeah, yeah, come check us out. Gem State Comic Con, April 10th and 11th. It's going to be awesome. I'm glad you didn't say lit or something. I mean, I feel like- Oh, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit, dude. It's going to be, it's it's gonna be cat, so lit. It's cat. <laughs> it's, it's cat. <laughs> it's cat. Oh, it's cat. I don't know what Miranda's doing and she's, her voice is cut out every time, <laughs> but she's just got this face that, that I just feel like I understand it, but I don't even know. <laughs> 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 it's gonna feel like that, so be there or be something else that's not there. Steve, Where? be there or be Steve. Ooh, nobody wants to be Steve. Yeah, fuck Steve. <laughs> Even Austin doesn't want to be Steve. Hey, he's nice. <laughs> he doesn't know better. Oh, that's okay? Steve. That's a good Steve. He's, was he's only been around for however long a middle-aged snake lives. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to sort that out. I think their lifespan's like three to nine months, so. Oh no, God, is that what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> We're oh yeah. So Austin has been messing with us all day in the chat. You're like, dudes, uh, we don't know. It's like things are going to happen tonight. So brace yourselves. And we've all been losing our sh it's I rolled a new and character. We <laughs> And then we get on here and he's like super nice to us and we're like, ah. <laughs> none of this feels right. If you kill me, I'm just coming back as that Canadian dude. I'm letting you know. So kill me at your own risk. Yeah. Kill at your own risk. I like that. It's actually really frightening. Motto. <laughs> kill at your own risk. <laughs> all right all right um wow okay well let's let's do this thing guys so i think uh without further ado um let's score some bottle caps uh welcome to episode 52 at what cost nice yeah that, that would sound pretty good thanks we can roll with it I was um on it. <laughs> also i'd like to add hopefully if everything goes to plan the end of the the arc so here it is just if you've watched arc all finale. this arc, finale of the arc so let's dive in it's been a grueling journey to this point one fraught with pain struggle mischief and sinister Plot. plots yeah you like that i had to google how that word <laughs> is spelled <laughs> yeah yeah now they know what i'm talking about our six heroes have finally made their way to saint's paradise the location that their investigations have led them to that seems to be the source of evil in the land. Now, with their newly found companion, Jace, a servant to the Vampire King, Yevon. With Esmeralda's brute strength and ingenious use of Aragis' body as a bludgeoning weapon, they were able to conquer the gargoyles that stood guard outside the building. The force that Esmeralda shoved Aragis pushed him through not only the center mass of the last remaining gargoyle, but also into the doorway of Saint's Paradise as well. Eridris, after rolling a few feet onto the ground floor of the building, you look up from your prone position to see uh, a roughly 120 foot hallway with 24 unmoving stone gargoyles along the sides of the hallway, split evenly on each side. Two large chandeliers hang from the ceiling using chains to hold them up, and a brick stone floor with blood leading to the center floor drain. 
As Esmeralda, you instantly feel horrible for crashing air just through the front door. What would you guys like to do? <coughs> I want to uh, just like turn back to everybody, like a just with my body, but I'm still like making eye contact like down the hallway and just be like, I, I run inside to see if he's okay because I'm thinking something's horribly wrong with him. Tack is going to stealth in. I think I was right behind Eridris when he walked in last week. So I follow. I'm stealthing okay. too with I'm Tack. Sorry. We're sneaking and I'm kind of like trying to tickle him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try, uh, yeah. I, I wanna try and to... help up Eridris. Okay, Tack has to I'm roll help them. stealth at a disadvantage because of Darrow's tickling. Is that what I'm understanding? Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> No, you guys don't have to roll stealth. Uh, but you guys are stealthing in. Um, yeah, Togu, you can pull air just up to the to his feet. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. So, wait, where's where's Jace? <laughs> he's like outside. He's like, hey guys, I don't remember what my voice sounds <laughs> like, but I'm here. <laughs> ever the ever changing voices of Magnian characters. Um, <laughs> So, uh, J J J Jace, um, there's, yeah. there's a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of gargoyles. Um, yeah, well, I mean, how, how strong are, are you, uh, you know, just like in, in gargoyles, like, like, like units. how many gargoyles could I lift? Yeah. Like, like units of gargoyles. Um, yeah. Gargoyles are pretty big. I, I've never been asked this question, but I, I would say probably like, like half a gargoyle. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well. I, think, I mean. I mean. No. I mean. Uh. Like. Like. What? I could bench one gargoyle. How much does a gargoyle weigh? Uh. Uh. I. I think. Are do you guys know the answer to these? Qu is this normal? No. This is. I'm trying to. We. We're. We're face to face with a bunch of gargoyles, and I'm just asking because yeah. I don't know if we can take them. Oh, uh, and he leans into the room and sees 24 gargoyles. He's like, probably, probably bad. This is, this is kind of a bad, um, this okay. isn't good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, well, uh, uh, DM, how big is the drain that you said the blood uh, was running into? Yeah. I'm going to say it's like two feet diameter. Okay. Um, well guys, I think, uh, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, maybe we could lift the drain up and uh, see where that leads. We yeah, could let's probably take a look in there. Uh, I want to investigate like where the blood. Like, does it look like the blood is like some like a body was dragged, or it's just pulled at the middle, or what does yeah. that trail of blood look like? Yeah. Why doesn't everyone make a perception roll? Is <clears throat> a vampire or just a vampire servant? He's like Guillermo. Uh, yeah, Del Toro? he's. Yeah. He's not a vampire. <laughs> Huge fan. He's what? <laughs> Guillermo, uh, like from uh, was, what show was it? No, Jimmy no, Kimmel. What we do in the shadows. Uh oh, I was thinking the Jimmy oh, Kimmel show. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Now. Uh, yeah, he. We know a lot of Guillermo's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oddly yeah. Enough, we do <laughs> more on than TV. one. Um, yeah, he. De you don't reckon he looks like a vampire? You don't see like the classic bites. He doesn't seem pale. Um. I, I'm well, asking because, like, his blood that's on the ground isn't, like, triggering him in any way. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, he's looking at blood, and it's kind of grossing him out. Oh, okay. Oh. He's a, he's a familiar that's been taught some cool things by Yevon. Oh, and apparently he has a broadsword? I think I gave him, like, a, a large sword of some sort. Let's go with claymore. a claymore. I don't know. That sounds fun. Ooh. He has a claymore. Uh, what did cool. you guys roll for your perception? Dirty 16. 20. Oh, yeah. Eight. Oh. What? I rolled an eight. Drink. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. I got a seven. Mars rolled a okay. 12. Togu, did you get an 18? Is that you said? 16. Mm. Eridris, you got a dirty 20. It's super dirty. Eridris, you look up. To see this, uh, you can tell it's a female. The very, very back of the room. I mean, I, I said look up, like, 
I was thinking you were still prone, oh, but Toby was lifting drain. you up. Sorry. You, yeah, and the and the drain's like 60 feet away from you guys, just to clarify. Um, but you look, and you can see... <laughs> use your elf eyes! And you look to the back of the room, um, and you can see okay. a person, uh, like, it's like a latched into a standing crucifix-like upright platform. Um, several shimmering green daggers are mechanically attached to various parts of this like vertical table that she's on. Um, she seems seemingly unconscious, like stuck within its grasp. Um, behind that, you can see three coffins on the ground um, with some sort of spiral staircase in between them going upwards. Uh, do I from uh, do I recognize her? You do from not. This distance. Okay. Um, oh, Would you describe guys. the coffins again? You said there's three coffins behind the table. Sorry. Yeah, three coffins on the ground. Okay. So it's somebody um, crucified, and then in front of them is three coffins. Uh, behind the cru crucified person <laughs> is three coffins. Yeah, on the ground. Does the blood look like it's coming from the body to the drain? It does. Okay. Um, Guys, um, I, I feel like we should probably help her, right? I, I completely agree. Let's go. Just don't rip her off like you did to me. Yeah, and 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 definitely, you know, let's 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 be quiet. Um, we're passing by Gargis. Uh, Tack, as Erigus points this person out, you look over. And you see this this uh, woman strapped to this thing, and I'd like you to describe what your other mother Vani looks like. Um. Okay. She is like five five ish. Not super tall. Pretty average height has uh like shoulder length curly gray hair olive-ish skin she looks different than my other mom um it's good they're not twins yeah that would be creepy um oh, it's his own <laughs> let's see i'm trying to remember what i wrote in my notes what's her rate what's her uh race um she she's half elf okay that is her okay um but you realize that it's your mom um so i guess Pick, I guess I'm hidden off to the side or something with uh, Darrow. Uh, okay. Yeah, Tax is going to kind of like turn and start to walk out the opposite way that everyone's going. Like out the door you guys came in? <laughs> mm hmm. All right. You guys watch as Tax leaves the room. Uh. Is is Tack okay? Did he say anything? I he didn't say anything to me. Should I follow him? Um, should Tack? I I mean, look. someone probably should just to make sure that he's all right. Yeah, what are we waiting for, guys? Let's go. I want to start go. walking towards the door to go after him. I'm gonna keep my eye on the gargoyles, uh, just like. Like okay, I got I got the gargoyles. You guys go. Um, I'll 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 eyeball gargoyles. Just make sure Tack's all right, and let's uh let's, yeah. let's stick together on this. Okay. Um, how many of you guys are going into the room? Erdris, Togu. Into into what? You said you guys are going into the room. I'm going no. after Tack. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm... I think. Me and Esmeralda are just gonna like stay in place and keep an eye on the gargoyles and Okay. And just the to clarify lady. where you guys are positioned are three feet inside the room. Cool. 
I'm going with them too. I assume that Togu is helping Tack. Okay, so is it just Togu that leaves the room? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Tack, yeah. Okay, um, let's do that first. Uh, Tack, what are you doing? Um, Tack is walking just kind of like maybe 10 feet past the door. And then he's just going to kind of go like fall onto like his knees and just kind of sit there and just like stare ahead. Am I close enough behind him to try and catch him before he falls? Sure. Yeah, I want to see if I can at least like let him know that somebody's there. Like make sure he isn't like passing out or anything. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, tack, I grab. You... Yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, I'm going to grab him and be like, Hey, 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 hey. What, what, what's going on, man? I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to go back. I want to go, go home. back. Go back. Go back home. Yeah. Um, aren't aren't we? Isn't this your home? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it used to be. What's going on, man? What what sparked this? And Tack's gonna point backwards behind himself. We found her. My God, man. Um, I just want to sit next to him, and then um, I'm gonna reach uh, into whatever holding or whatever bag that I've got, and I'm gonna pull out. Um, I still got that ivory wooden pipe from the ship, and I want to load it with tobacco, and then um, just light it and uh, take a big puff of it and blow it out. And then I want to lean, you know, offer some to Tack. Tack okay. grabs it and just like takes a little puff and hands it back. And he goes. Thank, thanks, Togu, but I, I just want to. I just want to go back. I, I'm, I'm just a kid. I, I'm not. People forget. <laughs> That's funny, man. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I forgot too. You're such a strong part of this of this team that. You know, we forget how much pressure we put on you and how much stuff is going on. Um, I just want you to know, too, that, you know, with how this, with how everything has gone, um, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have done all the things and, and saved all of the people and done so much good without, without you in this group. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, and I want to point kind of in between us. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this right here. And he's going to kind of rub his hand through the tack tracker that's right there. And be like, we've kind of been, you and I have been kind of connected through this whole thing, man. I don't know if you know, but I, I've got an ability where I can, I can know wherever you are and know whenever you're, you're close. And it's, extremely comforting to me to know that we've got somebody so strong and somebody with so many talents in the crew that I don't know I think that with everything going on there's nothing that we can't that we can't get through or get get over um, as long as we have you you know as a part of this and I know that you said that your home is here and it's different for for me my home is it's this brigade, it's, it's Eridris and Mars and Esmeralda and Darrow. <laughs> I mean, hell, it's even, it's even back to guys like Ong um, and to Yuya and so many other people. But we've been here the whole time and I think you're a big reason for that, so. Just wanted, just wanted you to at least know that from me. Hi. 
I know that I've always been able to count on you guys. But... I just wanted... I just finally get home after I feel like I'm okay. And nothing's okay. Can we go get her down? Yeah. Do you want us to do it? Or do you want to help? I want to help. I want to take one more puff and hand him the pipe. Tech's going to take a big one. Probably too mm -hmm. big. He's going to hand it back. One hit a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Wu-Tang and Ivory Pipes. No, he's going to, yeah, and then just kind of, like, get up and... <sighs> hey, man. Just remember. You and I, we're always connected, man. You got it? Okay. Tax going like, to, like, take to his I'm hand a... as they walk back. Yeah. I'm going to squeeze it pretty hard. And then I want to try and slip. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Uh, I forgot he's a kid. What the? <laughs> what? No, I was just, no, no. <laughs> Shit. Wait. Drew bottle cap form. <laughs> I'm going to try and slip. Gonna... Oh, wait, that's a kid. Uh... I was going to give him the tobacco pipe. Oh, that's drugs. That's not a euphemism. Drugs. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, drugs. it's drugs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh thank God. God. Yeah, that, that makes like... it way better. Oh. You know, like then I'm gonna do it anyway. Smoke these days. Ooh, you just you know? suck down just half of the smoke. tobacco pipe. Yeah, I'd be like, "Hey man, look the ice there." I a feel little like bit. you could use this guy. I'm gonna give him. I want to give him the pipe. Okay. Uh, it is an. For your notes, it's an ivory wooden pipe. So the wood is the stem, and the ivory is up at the front. And then you got 20 ounces of um salt to black black salt tobacco. Which is super super rare. So, yeah, yeah. I totally remember that. <laughs> what? No, I, <sighs> nothing. It might not even be super rare. I just wrote it in my notes. So I, I probably <laughs> said that, and then you just wrote it down. But <laughs> it's rare. But I put it down. Um, as as Togu and Tak make their way back in, I want to try to make eye contact with Togu and kind of like, you know, have that have a unspoken like is everything okay what's up look yep. exchange um i mean i'm just kind of walking in i want to put my other hand on the hand that tax holding on to and kind of look at him and then look at eridris um and then just start to walk towards the center of the room yeah Tax just been staring at his mom the whole time as they're walking in. Um, I turn to Esmeralda and I'm, I'm like, hey, uh, um, Esmeralda, you usually have like a pretty good uh, sense of drama and stuff. Yeah. Um, what it, is anything going on? What's what? uh, <laughs> do I know if anything's going on? <laughs> uh, wow, I feel like you're. You're like, it uh, looks like Tack is like starting to cry. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh, something's happening. Ugh. Uh, okay. Um, well, I, I guess we uh, let's back him up, huh? Mm -hmm. Come on, bud. So we all, I guess, uh, sneakily follow. All right. So Togu and Tack, you guys are going first. Do, uh, are yeah. the mercenaries still with us? I guess they're just behind. our Voltron. Our Voltron mercenaries. Yeah, yeah. All they but are. one. Uh, <laughs> Tack and Togu. The left leg. Cargo. I, I need uh, both you guys to do two things for me. First, declare now how far within your thirty foot distance you would like to go, and second, uh, I need you guys to make uh, a perception roll. Both How far within the body? Yeah, it is 120 feet away from you. Um, okay. And within your movement speed, which I imagine is 30 for both of you. 
Uh, I want you to declare if how far you want to go. Mine's twenty five, but I don't know if that matters. Yeah, we'll we'll just make it thirty for this. Okay, got it. Um, I am I am going as I I feel like I'm sort of I'm on I'm following Tack. Like I might be in front of him or beside him, but I'm a hundred percent going on his cues. So I okay. go as far as Tack goes. So, just, so I'm understanding this right. It's like I'm going thirty feet closer potentially from like 120 to 90 or correct okay yeah i'm just gonna go all the way up to 90. okay um hydrate can we, hydrate can we do a perception roll from the two of you 14. Oh. um no, hydrate. that is a cocked dice that's a 15. hydrate all right thanks many, Thoth. we love that, you is that three or oh god four uh, Thoth has been saving up all of uh, their points since forever. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, this yeah. is for years, eight and a half percent. Ooh, see ya. <laughs> Get it, <Tank>. girl. <laughs> yeah. Tank, connect. Try the nat <laughs> beer. Oh, uh, man. It's like the jolt cola of beer. <laughs> um, okay, can you, uh, can you guys both make another perception roll? Um, and while they're doing that, you guys behind watch as they reach five feet into the room. And as they take a step after that, like, fifth foot, um, you watch as one of these green daggers pierces the body of Tax Mom, uh, Bonnie. And you watch as it pierces, like, this green energy comes out and goes into the two closest gargoyles. Um, and it goes, like, into their body and slowly, they, like, shake off this, like, stone. It's like, <laughs> as they take a step out. Tak and Togu do not notice this, and they take another five-foot step. And as they do, another dagger pierces the body. Can you guys tell me your rolls? 16. Eight. Okay, Togu does not notice, but Tak, you do see uh, a second dag piercing your mom's body um, as another two gargoyles uh, come to life silly. <laughs> Coming out of their, like, stone forms and shaking all the... <laughs> Um, how like high up is the body? Um, there at the end of the room. Reach? Well, at the end of the room, there's like a couple steps that kind of go onto a stage. It's almost like a a huge like an um like church like an altar. Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But is it like is it high? Is it like too tall for like to Togu and I to reach her? Like physically, like grab her, or is it? Uh, I mean, no. You guys could okay. figure it out, no doubt. Um, but I will say that you guys... I've got Mage Hand, too. Okay, and you guys reached 10 feet so far, and, and Tack, you noticed that um, as you get closer, it seems to be uh, slowly hurting Vani and also activating mm -hmm. these gargoyles. Uh, yeah, Tack's just going to pull out, pull out his shield and sword, and then he's just going to kind of... He, well, he's going to let go of Togo's hand and then kind of like push Togu backwards of the shield a little bit and be like, I have to go do this right now. And I'm just going to sprint towards my mom. You want to dash? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Togu, you get pushed backwards and every five feet that you take, tack, seems to pierce another dagger into Vani's body. Um, you reach 15 feet, it happens again. You reach 20 feet, it happens again. Um, do you want to continue sprinting? I'll, he'll start to slow down a little bit, but he's probably going to go another 10 feet before he stops. Okay. Is she like making any noticeable sounds or is she just out? It, it seems like she's pretty out of it. These are almost like repeat injuries for her, it seems like. How far is Tack away from Vani right now? You said that uh, if you wanted to sprint, right, that would be, or dash, that would be a max of 60 feet. Um, yeah, every five I'd feet, it moved, seems to do this. So I'd how far do you want to like, go? I probably moved like 20 more. Put you right okay. at the 30 feet. The 30 feet. Okay. 
Well, I mean, as you're doing this attack, you watch as six different daggers pierce her body. Um, and there are six gargoyles now that are, like, slowly coming out of their slumber. And I don't think I noticed... I haven't noticed that yet, correct? Or the gargoyles? Um, yeah, I, who's, I'll who's say now it's, what? I see now that it's clear there are gargoyles moving. Yeah. Um... Does, is it clear to us how they're moving, or is it just like, oh, gargoyles now? Yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, it seems likely you're about to go into combat. Well, I, I, I mean, just, just uh, for some like meta motivation here. Yeah. Um, do do, uh, do we all have the information that the daggers are going in and, and those are clearly triggering the gargoyles or is that something that's only privy to tech? Oh, I, I mean, I don't know how to answer these questions because then I have to like explain what you're seeing. What's happening? So, but but you, if you're asking if you saw the daggers, then, then yes, you guys noticed that too. And then we could correlate that the daggers are then when a dagger goes in, another gargoyle pops up. Because we saw the like green energy go into the. I mean, it's, yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's pretty yeah, clear, and cool. we're we're pretty like, ether magic, savvy, at this point. Okay. You're pros. Um, like, oh, so yeah, I I just see them like, oh shit, and I start everybody. Uh, yeah, I start everybody running to attack. I want to I want to try to stop Airdress. Okay, um, yeah, you guys can do. I mean, you just, just want to let that happen, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, just, I, I, we, we don't know if every time we step, she's gonna take more daggers. Like, we can't go out there, can we? Well, I'm, uh, there's one way to find out. I just want to take a uh, five, okay, uh, a five foot step into the the gargoyle situation. Yeah. Uh, you guys don't notice any more go into her body. Right. Just kidding. I was just being safe. All right, good idea. I'm gonna follow. Yeah. Tack, wait! And I and I start running and to try to meet Tack, where he's at. I'm I'm following. I turn around and go, come on to the mercenaries. I'm <laughs> going. <running> to. <laughs> to. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. They're like <laughs> union. And they just follow. <laughs> so you want to forget about you again? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want and that. Is Jace, <laughs> is Jace yeah. also coming? Yeah, Jace is with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, let's let's roll initiative. Thank you. Mine's not great. I okay. bet it's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's oh, do uh, Esmeralda. Three. Okay. <laughs> you what's what's your initiative modifier? Negative one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. There you go. Uh, Aaron, I didn't just... know that was a thing. That's oh. funny. <laughs> just a, just a, maybe you want to fight Berserker. Uh, what did you get, Mars? Dirty 20. Not Dirty. Nice. Are gargoyles uh, considered constructs rather than beasts? I, mm, good question. I imagine when they're in their stone form, could be. I could look that up, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Daryl. 16. Erges? Uh, an 8. Tack? 14. Uh, Togu? Also an 8. Cheers, everybody. Do you want Erges or you to go first? Erges uh, is in front of me, so let's let uh, him go first. No, no, uh, actually, you go first. You sure? Yeah, we can RP it too. Okay. Alrighty. Here, let, can we just can we decide when it comes to one of our turns? Sure. Can we RP, choose it. Yeah. <laughs> Austin's like, fuck, great, another <laughs> ten minute thing that we could have just decided. In the battle. If the two fuckers <laughs> would just tell us which one wants to go first. Oh man. 
<laughs> I, I actually had to think about the rules if you have to decide now, like you have to declare it or not. I don't think it matters, though. Um, all right. Well, Mars, you're up first. Uh, you notice six different gargoyles. So like, as like the stone pieces are falling off them, and they take the like these big heavy steps, like slowly. Um, these first three seem like normal sized gargoyles, like the ones you fought outside. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna. Are any of them looking like they're going towards Tac? They, they seem like they all are. They all are. Okay, cool. Well, whatever one's the closest one to Tac, I'll go for first. Oh, first one's a nat one. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, and the second one's a nat one. Holy shit! <laughs> Drink, Drink three times, wow. everybody. Oh my wow. god, that's like a a very small chance of happening. What the hell? That's really unlikely. That's absurd, <laughs> actually. Like that dice need to go to dice jail, dude. That's a, what is that, a one in 400 chance? Yeah. <laughs> well, more than that, right? <laughs> Two in a row. That's crazy. It's a lot. Uh, I, think it's just, I think it's just 20 times 20. Yeah. All right, so you would like to, you hydrate. were going to, hydrate, you are going to shoot the ones that, two of yeah. them that were approaching? Yeah, oh, they just fucking. Can you roll two attack rolls for those? You didn't grab an arrow Or uh, time. damage rolls. <laughs> you just kept, shit, uh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I would have been 19 points of damage altogether. I had to Yes. I'm going to roll. Okay. Um, Tech, you watch as one arrow, like, flies right next to your face. Um, and then, as you, like, were surprised by that, you look down to this searing pain in your right thigh as another arrow oh! has pierced your thigh. Um, I don't know how much damage the second one was, but whatever that was. Mars. Ace Ventura did it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who did it hit? Oh. And hit tack. Oh. Yeah, he's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> oh god, <laughs> eleven points of damage to tack for that second hit. Uh, oh shit, uh, thirteen points actually. I get plus two to my arrows. <laughs> <laughs> he just had a rough. He's having a rough day for sure. Since yesterday, really. Oh my fucking god, Tack, I'm so sorry! I really didn't mean it! <laughs> oh my god, did Mars just hit Tack? I think she was trying to put him out of his misery. Oh she no! She tends to do that. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. It's just built the into second my campaign. brain. I'm just gonna, just I'm just gonna scream out, Guys, he's just a kid! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I mean, I did. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh no, Marsh is gonna retreat back <laughs> out of shame. Back to the Fey realm. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> oh God. Uh, oh, My job here is done. <laughs> I'm so glad our healer isn't a part of our party anymore, guys. God, yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, Toku's become your designated healer now, I feel like. That is such a bad idea. <laughs> on so many levels. Okay, um, it's Jace's turn. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's, he's like, check it out, guys! And he just starts to run onto the wall again. Um, and you see him run onto the wall, and he makes it about uh, third. Well, about 30 feet towards about where Tack is. Um, and that's about how far his distance is. But he seems to be running towards the altar. Why did you say check it out? Like, I have was no idea. Rude, I was just right? that too. A little bit. It's like, like weird we flex, bro. Yeah, you can run on walls. Congratulations. Go find uh, it. Great form, though. It's Stop really it. Form. You're falling for it. He you see back. what you're doing? Oh, oh, no, you're right. You're right. No, you're right. You're you're giving, right. Yeah, you're giving him what he wants. Hey, weird question. If he trips, does he like fall to the guess... ground or does he stay on the ceiling? Yeah, I think he falls down. Yeah. Trips I... into the ceiling. This is... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just assume it's like a cartoon where he rounds and he trips and it's like, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> awesome. It is Gargoyle One's turn. Let's roll the dice. Uh, is wait, who is everyone right around Tack? I assume not. Yeah. No, right? I'm a little uh, bit back. Okay. He pushed Tech, me. Tack's yeah, we're Tack's further ahead of the, like everyone. Way out I'm about everybody. To, I'm 20 feet behind Tack, or I was when the fight started, and Eric just and I were moving towards him. He was up at the 30 mark, but he pushed me at the 10 foot mark, and then ran forward. Okay. Um, Tack's in the red zone. What? Yeah. One of the gargoyles comes flying at Esmeralda. Na, 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 na. Oh no! <laughs> na, 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 na. Um, I'm assuming it doesn't, but does a 14 hit you? Oh, it actually does. Oh. Damn. Damn. I have a very bad armor situation. Yeah. So, All right. So weird. Okay. Um, it goes to does a slash at you, Esmeralda, uh, dealing uh, nine points of damage as it slices <laughs> like your chest area. Am I still in a rage? <laughs> it slashes your fish tits. I feel like <laughs> oh, I, fish tits. She's doing her, it. Fish she tits. Actually, finish. like become a barbarian cat. What? Sam used to say that so much. Like oh. every 10 minutes. He's like, am I still raging? I'm like, All it's been four time. days. <laughs> it, I, I hit I, I hit Eridris into the door and then we walked in and I was like, I'll keep a look at the the gargoyles. I don't right. think you're raging anymore. We had a big powwow <laughs> conversation and stuff. Okay. Yeah, But you'll be able to rage on your turn, no doubt. Um, you uh, notice something. Well, actually, let's do this. Uh, gargoyle 2 is up next. Um, it flies at... Aragis. So this, uh, I don't cool. say fly. It dar it dashes at you. I don't use the word fly when when Sam's you. playing. Yeah, it's probably so, fucking <laughs> wise. <laughs> or if, no Is it flying. an intimidating skip? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill you and all your children. So it's running no! at you. <laughs> and... no, that gets it. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I'm offended that the gargoyle hit me. Mm. Already have a date. The problem. <laughs> It swings at you with a nine, which I think is a fail. Now I do a cool monk shit and evade it. Heck yeah, you do, man. Wait, like you're using a key point? Or you're just saying no, it, that's what you'd it, like it, to do? That's a it's a flavorful it's a flavorful miss. Heck it yeah, dude. It's it swings at you with its tail and you just like matrix this shit. It's just like You limbo it. <laughs> <laughs> you limbo his tail. I, I limbo it, not realizing the tail's coming for my feet, and then I just lift my feet up. <laughs> awesome. I I love that. See this. That's <laughs> exactly how it happens, Miranda. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> that is what happens. Uh, it's like, like, like those stupid action movies where he's like doing push-ups so that he doesn't even need his hands anymore. It's like. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So you dodge that. Um, you 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 guys all notice after the they attack, uh, they slowly like after they swing at you, it's like as they turn to stone again. Mm. Um, Can I get hit because I was so mesmerized by Eridris's like cool limbo <laughs> skills? You want to be like, hit by the tail? What? And then I get hit. <laughs> I was like, oh how? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, you you take one damage as it smacks you on the end of its tail swing. Me? Yeah. I don't know. What? You asked no. for it. You be, you Damn you it. asked me to hit you. <laughs> Jesus! Wow. Um, Darrow, it's your turn. And right, uh, they, attack your on deck. They turned to both turned to stone. The two that attacked, yeah. Okay. Uh, how far are the other ones away? I don't know. They're within 30 feet. Let's say uh, 20 okay. feet away from me. Okay. Um, they're 20 feet away from TAC or from me? Probably 10 feet away from TAC. Okay, cool. Um, so I want to cast um, Hound of Ill Omen right really? next to... Yes. I've, I've never seen you do that. Well, I'm, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so I want to cast Hound of Ill Omen next to... Um, I, are, are, are they kind of like close together? Can I get them? 
can I get the hound near both of them? What's the distance on the hound? There are uh, two that turn to stone that are close to you, like literally like breathing at your face that are now stone again. And there are two that are uh, four, sorry, um, that two are on each side that uh, are on the sides of the walls that haven't moved yet. Okay. Before I make an action, can I ascertain if they will unturn from stone? They have already. No, 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 the the two that are close to us. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you have no idea. You don't, okay. you don't even know why cool. they. Yeah. Uh, cool. So I don't, I don't trust it. So on the two that are farther away, they're not like close to each other. They're kind of like a little bit further away. Or... Yeah, each one has. If there are twelve on each side, they're ten feet away. From okay. Each other. Cool. So I'll ca- I'll cast Hound Ill Omen um, right next to one of them. Okay. And then I'll use Crown of Madness. And I want to use a sorcery, some sorcery points to cast Twinned Spell. Um, second level? Third level. Third level. Second level. Uh, so, <laughs> Crown of Madness uh, on, on both of them. And so they both have to do wisdom saving rolls. The first one is with disadvantage because of okay. the hound. Yeah, let's do the first one. Okay. Okay. Uh, The first one, the lowest roll, was 16. The second one got a 19. Oh, well, so they both beat it. He rolled with disadvantage and got a 16? Yeah, its first roll was like a 19, and then it got a... Well, I don't need to tell you, but it it, it got, yeah. All right. There's my turn. Uh, The Hound, I, I guess, initiative... Got a oh, yeah, let's one. do that. So, ah, just gonna hang out for a bit. <laughs> I got a nap one. Okay. Yeah. Hound one. It's at the end of the list. Alrighty. Uh, well, it's. Uh, I, oh, yeah, I, go ahead. I flip them off. Yeah. That's yeah. all I can. Fuck those guys, man. Yeah, I'm us- I forgot my thing today, so I'm using the app, and I feel like the app, like, mm. rolls really well. I've never done below 12. Get a with... different app. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Yeah, go 16. Find the shitty one. There we go. I got a four. It does roll. It's, it's capable. Um, okay. Uh, Tack, it's your turn. Togu, you're on deck. Um, so there should be some gargoyles that aren't stone mm. yet, right? Uh, that uh, that aren't stone, like haven't come out of stone yeah. and then become stone again. There are there are four that are currently active. Okay. Are any of them close to me or like behind me? Uh, yeah. All... So I know I wish we had a map for this, guys. I'm sorry, this is really elaborate. So um, it, you can imagine that there are twelve gargoyles on each side, right? Of... Yeah. Um, and they, they're 10 feet along. So if you're at 30 feet, the ones that are active, there are uh, 10 feet to your left and to your right are, are active gargoyles. And then slightly closer to the party, another 10 feet back closer, are two okay. more active gargoyles. So technically, there are two behind you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Attack. I am going to run backwards then towards... Uh, towards the gargoyle that has the hound near it. Okay. I'm going to go with, uh, if you're facing the altar, the right side of the room is where the gargoyle was. Okay. That has yeah, the hound. I'll go to that right side gargoyle. Okay. And I will attack it with my sword. Well running at it and screaming green team <laughs> casting green flame blade oh. all right so of course i get two attacks my first attack was a 14 and my second was a 13. what were the two again sorry 14 and 13. okay yeah your first will hit now yeah. you know the ac <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome everyone yeah, that's very specific that will totally make our dice rolls change <laughs> yeah 
I hope not. Um, <laughs> the how close are the, gargoy are the gargoyles within like five Miranda, feet of each fine. other? Ten feet. They're within ten feet of each other. Yeah. Convenient. Ah, good. Okay. Can counter building. And I do 19 damage. Oh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> nice. Oh, yay! Tax is going, I guess, like as he's just running up. He's just going to, like, he's not a barbarian, but he's going to be swinging recklessly. Just Heck yeah. He's feeling yeah. very emotional. <laughs> And just kind of like swing so hard that he kind of like stumbles forward and like catches himself with his shield, basically trying to like slice through it. Yeah, I mean, you just cleave this thing in half, dude. Just like, just like, <laughs> and like pieces of rock and like like this green dust goes into the air. Um, Togu, as we go to your turn. You watch as Tacta slices this thing in half, and you're just filled with awe. And just as you're about to move, you realize that we're going to go on break. Uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Um, yeah. Ooh, gets I'm me every so time. sorry, Tack. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, this is a very intense... Juicy lemons take an arrow to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> the age old saying um we will see you guys in five ten minutes uh thanks for watching and stay tuned we'll be right back Hello, and we are back. Thanks for waiting, guys. Um, I didn't really nominate someone, but I think I just will right now. Uh, Taylor, you really want to talk, so tell me about Dice Envy, dude. Sure. Uh, one of our long-standing affiliates, you guys have heard us talk about them before, Dice Envy is one of the coolest places to get all of your dice needs when it comes to any sort of RPG game where you need some sick-ass dice. My favorite one that you can get from Dice Envy is they do these mystery sets where it's a, it's a discounted price and you just get surprised with a little gift from Dice Envy whenever they come in. Uh, they've got wood dice, they've got resin, they've got metal, they've got stone, they've got basically everything you need when it comes to nerding out with your nerdy friends. So if you need to go get some dice, the best thing to do is go to diceenvy.com backslash the bottle cat brigade because it helps us create even cooler content and maybe get you some more cooler dice so follow us and support our friends at diceenvy.com heck yeah love that hey well let's dive back hey. in guys uh speaking of taylor and taylor speaking uh it is your turn togu what would you like to do uh can i notice from where i'm standing uh i want to take a look at one of the statue stones on the side okay um the idea is to see if I can, if I have the strength to physically push one off of whatever they're on and see if it'll break on the ground. Ooh, interesting. So one of the ones that are not yet activated. Correct. Mm. Um, I just want to, uh, as as he like moves to that, I'm like, Togu, are you, are you, are you setting up to shatter these guys? Um. I mean that was that was I that was a thought. I don't have a whole bunch of spells left, but I was thinking if I could push them down and they could break, we 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 could at least eliminate, you know, the possibility of all these guys coming out. Yeah, we definitely can't have that happen. But I don't even know if I can do it yet. So Okay, well, I'll tell you this. Um they're like further than how far attack has gone. The next ones that are unactivated. Oh. Okay. Uh oh wait, did the ones activate closest to the door, or uh -huh. it? Yeah, you guys have activated uh, as uh -oh. as far as he's gone. They've activated. I got you. It went as they went. It wasn't working back towards us. Right. Never mind. Then I'm not gonna do that. Um, I just want to get to tack and shit. I'm not gonna do that. I probably should have looked in the break on what I was gonna do. I forgot it was my turn. But that's okay. Um. How close is the closest gargoyle to me? Mm. 
There are two stone ones that turn back to stone right next to you. And then, oh, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna cast shatter then on the two that are closest to me. Okay. At level. Let's do it just at level two. So. Okay. Um. Shatter totally. Make a Constitution saving. Yes, yeah, you, sir. You can hit both of them. Each creature in ten foot radius must make. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it's on my phone. I literally was reaching for dice that don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can use this app. Um, so one of them got a nineteen, the other one got a seven. Uh, so the nineteen doesn't hit, but the seven does, and the seven takes Jesus Christ. The seven takes uh, eight damage. Double it. Why do I double you it? To, you double it on stone. Oh, that's right. Sweet. So he takes 16. Good save. Wait. No, no, no. Uh, it doesn't double my thing. It's disadvantage for both of their rolls. Both of their con rolls. Something like that. Yeah, they both uh, failed. A creature think. made of inorganic <laughs> materials such as stone, crystal, and metal has disadvantage on this saving throw. Yeah, I think they both Jeez. failed pretty badly on that then. Okay. So then they both take... I'm gonna, do you want me to re-roll or use the eight? Yeah, whatever you rolled already, yeah. Okay, so yeah, they each take eight points of damage. Of thunder that, that was your That was your 3d8 was eight damage? Yeah, that's why I said ouch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, well, you hit both of them, and you just watch as, like, like one of them, like, its stone arm falls off and just crashes to the ground. Another one, like, its tail and, like, its ear falls off. And you can tell that you've rattled them pretty good. There's cracks over their bodies. They don't seem to respond or do anything. Okay. Um, and then... I'm gonna draw church key and be done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Togo just went. Aragis, you're up, and then it's Gargoyle number three. Um, number three. Whenever Jace uh, started running on the wall, uh, where where is he right now? Yeah, he's about uh, laterally the same place as Tack at the moment. Cool. Um, I want to... Uh, so if he's laterally... Well, shit balls. Um, um, and then how far away is Tack from Bonnie? 90 feet. Hot damn. Okay. Um, in that case, I am going to uh, attack um, the gargoyles that okay. I'm chilling next to. Um, the stony and ones? Yeah. We're going cool. to de-stonify them um, with my fists. Uh, not really. Shit, it's yeah. Just quarter stabs. Um, okay. Cool. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to just attack uh, with my two attacks. I'm going to attack one at each of them. Um, and then we will proceed from there. Cool. Uh, first one's a 19. And a 23. Yeah, those will both hit. Let's do damage. Cool. Um, that No, it's not that one. God damn it. I always forget what a D8 looks like. There it is. <laughs> Two pyramids. Yeah. Uh, the first one is a six damage. Okay. The second one is five damage. Okay. Um, yeah. How do you want to break both these things? Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, cool. Um, what I want to do is, um, uh, so if they're both stone, I yeah. want to... Um, uh, just like with the flourish of my quarter staff, uh, uh, like sweep out uh, uh, one of the legs off of one, um, and then um, uh, almost in that same motion, come and then uh, sweep out the a leg of another one, and then like as I do this really fast, I just want them to both fall at the same time behind me and like yeah. make dusties. <laughs> You're like, and then behind you, they just fall. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, love, okay. I love the anime o moments with Aragis. It's always awesome. <laughs> yeah, it looks um, dope. 
and then I want to, uh, and then I just want to um, run up and uh, to where Tack is. I just want to meet Tack. Okay, sounds good. And I will hold off on a bonus action. Okay, that's stupid. You stupid. Um, Gargoyle number three is coming at you again, Erges. And also, uh, oh, it's the union after Gargoyle number three. Um, Yay! Okay. Uh, does 13 hit you, Erges? No, it does not. All right. This thing comes and you cleanly dodge it once again. I'm going to say you do something <laughs> dope. Like, for no reason, you go onto one arm, like, and you dodge it. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a, it's a capoeira. Yeah. Move. <laughs> yeah. Or it, it claws both like up and down with two arms, and you just like, it just like misses. Um, Everything's coming up, Eridris. Yeah. <laughs> you, but you rock it dodging. Um, it's the Union. And then uh, I don't remember all their names. I don't have my notes with me. Uh, but what the leader, I think his name is Perky. <laughs> Percy or Perky. I think it's Perky. Perky's like, Perky. come on, boys! You see them just all run at the gargoyle that just attacks you, Erigus. Um, And, wow, they all, like, squarely miss with their weapons. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just want to be like, Darrow, how much did you pay <laughs> these guys? <laughs> Not enough. No. <laughs> you just watch weapon after weapon, like, miss it, and the gargoyle's not even moving. She's like, don't, 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 don't. God, we um, should have saved those guys from the shield. <laughs> those guys were badasses. They, are <laughs> they were. Union, they were cool. So. <laughs> Only the weak unionize. No, uh, no that's I don't think not true. Is, that none of us agree with that. That is not true to anyone watching the stream. <laughs> Unions or police unions. Literally, none of us think that, but. <laughs> unionize, but not if you're a police officer. Just yeah, you guys, you guys got enough not unions. Not. Um, Esmeralda, it's your turn. And then several gargoyles. Okay. Um, I was right next to Air just because we just both got hit. And yes. So is there a gargoyle next to me? The ones that the union just missed? There's one gargoyle next to you. Um, and it just, it actually, after it attacked air, just turned to stone. Okay. I'm going to just attack it. I'm just going to, I'm going to bring my heel up like a beautiful kick, like straight up and down, and then just bring it down on it. Oh, well. yes. Yeah. Axe kick. I'm, gonna, I'm attacking. Oof. Yeah. I'm attacking with my Ryu. heels. <laughs> Let's do attack roll. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, that's an 18 just rolled, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're going to hit, Plus. I think. Okay. Like she said, "Ooh yeah." Ooh yeah. So it's 1d8. Okay. Uh, oh, did my hound ever get uh an action? Ooh, that is It's last. <laughs> that I is a, a 9. <laughs> Is it actually last or is it last now? <laughs> it, oh, oh, good yeah. point. It's no, it, last. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, before I do that, I'm going to fly into a rage and then I'm going to attack. <laughs> okay. Or okay. as I'm attacking, as I'm doing my beautiful uh, What does that sound like? Axe kit. <laughs> I can't even! <laughs> I'm going to attack it with my axe. And that was nine points of damage. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh, attack again. <laughs> Let's do it. And... Uh, uh, I'm gonna do a roundhouse kick uh, with my heel pointing at it, which is just gonna be all calf, like power, like oh yeah, like a flex, like yeah. at it. Did you <laughs> say calf, calf like power? Yeah, you know when no, you like Catholic. you really like. I heard, I heard Catholic. Catholic, Catholic oh, power. Oh God, Catholic I grew power. Up Catholic. I'm good. <laughs> it's just like the normal power. You just deal with a lot of guilt afterwards. It's calf like, like because you know when you flex your 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 foot a lot and your calf is like. Bow! Mm-hmm. Like that's the I want it like that because I want my heel in there. Wait, it's like what? It, ah, it's like yeah. I want, I'm gonna attack it. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Will someone cut the pow? <laughs> I want to make that my ringtone. <laughs> it's a <about> fourteen. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Son of a bitch! Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's an eleven damage. All right. Uh... How do you want to end this thing? 
I nice. want it. To, I just want to scream Brom and like it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hit it so hard, and then I want to look at all the the Union mercenaries and, and just be like, "That's how you fucking do it." And then I want to turn around and like to all the rest yeah. of them and just like ready myself. For it. Well, like, like, oh. I want to use. Yeah, I just I want to like turn around and fucking squat and yeah, like flex ah. my. Cast. You want to squat. You want to squat. Yeah. Okay. Flex your entire body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all puffed up. <laughs> Dean. All right. You squat. Everyone feels the power of your squat. <sighs> a, a, a little cloud of dust comes like like a little dust under cloud. your butt. No. <laughs> okay. Um, no. The other. We'll do these all at once. The other three gargoyles start to move. Um, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all going attack. Uh, and let's see the attacks. That's, I rolled a d6 for you guys. It just makes it easy. I literally rolled a four three times, which is attack in my system. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so I got a 23, a 16, and a 14 to hit you. Sorry? You hit me once. Word. <laughs> I thought those were pretty good rolls. You're a monster, bro. An absolute I've got monster. my shield. <laughs> What's your AC? 18. Without That's your shield? Beautiful. With it. With it? Does it give you plus two? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, you're going to take 11 uh, damage dang. attack as it slices, let's say, your arm. Just like all the way down. Back. You okay? I mean, pretty poor timing with that question. Okay. <laughs> you do a great, buddy. Thanks. Um, they <laughs> all turn to stone around Tack as that happens, and it's now the Hound's turn. All right. Uh, the Hound would like to go <laughs> and go and try and bite one of them on their gargoyle balls. Whatever okay. anatomy... <laughs> The, no, 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 no. We we came up with the term last week. They're called garginards. Garginards. Gargle balls. Garginards. Yeah. Garginards. garginards. Thank God for note taking, huh? Oh my God, that would have been awesome. Wow. To eat there for, if not for we that. fought two gargoyles last week, and in the time it took to fight two of them, we made sure to come up with garginards. Yeah. Oh, good. And it really benefited us when we we're fighting about six of them now. So. Jeez. <laughs> It came in clutch, man. All right, well, let's uh, do an attack roll for the hound. Rolling like shit tonight. Uh, buy dice on V5. Oh, man. Yeah, so the hound, like, goes to bite and realizes it can't. It, he watches it can't pierce stone at all. It's like. Can um, he at least hold on still? Just he's he's ride. holding on. Yeah, it wouldn't, okay. it wouldn't consider it a grapple, but it, it is yeah. holding on, yeah. It's just light, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, as that happens, uh, you guys feel like a, 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 I don't know, a breath of fresh air as you no longer feel directly confronted by any enemies. I would say you're not in combat at the moment. Uh, Mars is just going to run up to Tack. Uh, I think I'm pretty far back. Um, run, 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 run. Um, uh, Tack, Tack, whoa, one sec, I'm just going to pull out my arrow and I'll heal, heal you really, really quickly. And I'll rip out the arrow and cast Cure Wounds on you. Yay. Yay, let me roll that for you. You see, I um, I felt a little triggered by this situation and, you know, I have a lot of training and, you know, I just, I it was a bad shot and, I don't know, it was just out of my head and I'm really, really sorry. It wasn't anything against you. I, I, I know, I know it was an accident. It's okay. Well, um, okay, well, it's only four <laughs> points of view. And you know, Tack's like, what the? F <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not very good at healing. I just barely picked it up. Um, you know, I'm just gonna lay back here. I'll, 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 I'll hang out in the back. <laughs> just kind of watch. Actually, we might need you. Are you sure? Well, I mean, it looks like it, it looks like it's those. Um, uh, it's it looks like it's the little daggers. 
that are going in. I mean, you guys know how ether magic works. It, it, like it feeds off of blood and souls and things. And so that's what's activating these things. I, I'm just saying, if we're going to get them down, we're going to have to keep the daggers from happening. I want to see where's Jace. Like I look up and I look into the shadows. Like where did he go? <laughs> Just like itching his balls. <laughs> his guardian arts. Guardian arts. I go. Thanks for that help, you asshole. You just ran away. Wait, where is he? <laughs> he was running Jace. along the wall. Yeah. So you guys look at Jace, and he's like up on the wall, and he's like stopped running. He's just looking at you guys. Like should should I go further or what? I I I don't think so. Um. Guys, should um, should we just maybe take this five or ten feet at a time, kick ass, and then take it another five or ten feet at a time? I have a better idea. What if we just knock cool. our, all these gargoyles down while they're stone? And then I love should... dominoes. Fantastic. I can help. I can help with that. Oh, is that possible Al, in the room, Darrow? Like we won't. I forgot you were here. <laughs> <laughs> Darrow, is there any way can can you know exactly what's what's triggering like what kind of magic is is causing these gargoyles to come to life or or, or specifically like triggering the daggers like how does it know when to throw the daggers you can know what I, I mean? do I wanna... can I, yeah can I do a uh an arcana check I guess can anybody detect magic around here nope Magic. They're hooked in. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know it's magical. I want to know what makes it happen, though. What do you want to do? Uh, can I roll a uh, an arcana check? Okay. Ah, I didn't fuck that up all the way. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Um. Voice. Okay, you look, um, you feel magical energy throughout the room. Certainly, uh, some sort of system connecting uh, this like whole, uh, I'm going to call it a carapace uh, that she's connected to. That's not even the right word, probably, but I like it. I like the word. And uh, you, you just see this magical or like this arcane like grid system throughout the floor. Um, and you can see that it's like increments of five feet, these squares that go all the way through. And um, very D and D like you might say, and uh, yeah, it seems like seems very much connected. Uh, that and you look to your feet and where you're standing, like seems to, like fill that square. Uh, I, I just turn to I, I turn to everyone and I just say, "Someone get on my disc, and I'll push you over there, and we won't trigger the floor tiles that we seem to be stepping on." Tack. Tack. I, I feel like this is yours, buddy. Yeah. If you want some help, I can go with you, man. I'd, I'd like some help. I'm going to hop on with him. Just just keep just keep my dragon safe. Yeah. Keep it really, really fucking safe. I'll you guys. sit on it. Yeah, sit on it. Keep it warm. Don't fuck this up, okay? I'm going to draw a church key and then uh, just really quick pull out the dagger of sharpening, which I still have, and then use it on church key. Okay. And then I'd like to kind of push it over to Adris and be like, Adris, would you do the honors of pushing them over there? Yeah, sure. So yeah, you I'm never did specify with that dagger of sharpening what the increase is when I use it on an item. So. Oh, that's cool. It's like a magical item. Yeah, I got it early, early. It was like falconry glove time. It is anything I touch becomes sharper and more powerful are the notes, but... That sounds yeah. like really cool. <laughs> Magical. Yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it was an item that made things sharper, right? Um, so if it was. The problem was, is I tried to use it to like cut stuff. And then we realized, like, <laughs> that sucks because it when I tried to cut something with it, it makes it harder, more powerful. So we couldn't cut anything. It's <laughs> so, like if I tried to cut like somebody's hair and it wouldn't work because it just made it sharper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, we, got, we had to RP the item. Uh, Okay, so you want to sharpen something? Church key. Church key? Okay. 
Yeah, let's just write this down, dude. Uh, it what when you sharpen something, its next attack gets plus two. Uh, but you do cool. have to use an action to do it. So if you were to do it in combat, it would be an action. Got it. Plus two for next attack. And then the, and it. then it goes away, like the sharpness leaves after. Yep. Okay. Action. But I can do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are jumping on the disc, you and Tack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so you guys get onto this uh, this disc, um, and it starts to float. And you guys are, like, on the tips of your toes as it goes over the distance that Tack has reached. And you watch as, as the daggers don't activate. The um, gargoyles don't seem to uh, unturn from stone. Um, you guys slowly drift. How far can it drift away from you, Daryl? Hundred feet. You can I was away. muted because I'm a dumb bitch. Yeah, hundred feet. <laughs> Word. That's very. That's very convenient because you need to go ninety feet. So it. Uh, yeah, you guys like slowly drift to uh, the altar and tack. You're now like at at like the steps that go up, um, and you can see your mom, Bonnie, just about ten feet away from you, uh, on the uh, altar. I just want to be taking this time to break the three gargoyles that are. Okay. I'm Close to us. Yeah, you you guys smash them to pieces. I'm just walking. <gasps> it keeps me away. I've attacked. Oh. So. oh. Okay. <laughs> me, me and Esmeralda are having our swole moments. Yeah, you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> our swole mints. Swole mints, dude. Um, what would you like to do, Tak Toga? Um, I guess, yeah, Tack's going to hop off the disc onto the steps and then kind of like look back at Togu and give a little head nod and walk up to the carapace. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to Google what that word even means. What did I even say earlier? A like hard uh, upper shell of a turtle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like an insect. We're we're still going with it. <laughs> it's the carapace. She's crucified on an old extinct turtle shell. Yeah. Yeah, as well the face. Don't use straws. <laughs> yeah. Just... Oh God. Yeah. That's okay. real though. Um. Okay. So yeah. So what are you doing, Tech? Um. So how is she on it? Yeah, so this is like a thing that she's connected like at almost every joint of her body. And it's like these metal um, circlets that are connecting her to this thing. Um, and you can see like all these daggers that are just, you know, mechanically attached to this thing that she's on. And she's very much unconscious. You see a lot of blood. She looks pretty weak, currently having six daggers uh, stabbing her. I'm going to say two in the arm, in each arm, one in the thigh and one in the ankle. And she's connected with these metal um, circles. Yeah, so it'd almost be like, I imagine, like kind of like sp spider limb things, things coming coming around with the daggers. Yeah, they're like Is that. What I'm they're like connected to some sort of like joints that somehow activate. But yeah, they're like it's all it's all metal though. Yeah, but okay. it, and it's mechanical. Yes. Can I Togu's see like, Tinker time! <laughs> yeah. That's literally exactly what I was thinking. I'm to tinker. Cool. Uh, um, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, you go ahead. I was just going to hop off the disc and come to attack and take a look and see if I can discern a way to... Um, like shut it off. Okay. So, but the good news is I've got a sick ass feet for that. Heck yeah. Um, Super sick feet. He has the sickest feet. <laughs> oh. Money off those feet. You wear stances. Yeah. Think so I get to I get to add Taylor's twice feet. my proficiency bonus. When I'm checking on magic, alchemic, alchemic, or technological devices, so cool. Um, so we'll do an investigation. I think it's uh, 
It's this one listed as a history check. Okay. But it can be whatever you want. Yeah, let's do history. That's cool. Okay. So 14 plus four is 18 plus six. So it's a 24. Yeah, word. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you understand how this works quite thoroughly. Um, it seems to have some sort of like pipe system that goes through it into the ground. Um, something that seems to like connect this energy that passes through that's uh, siphoning from her body when it when it uh, like penetrates a wound. And okay. um, yeah, I mean, you, you could see how all the screws that connect it, how to take it apart and put it back together. Um, Tack, I, I think I know how to take this apart. Just tell me how I can help. Here, would you, yeah, just help here. And I want to start taking it apart. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's actually do, um, I don't know what else to call this, like a sleight of hand. Just your, like a, yeah, we'll call it that. Do I get advantage since Tack is helping or no? No, nah, you don't want his help. It'd make it worse. Okay. Uh, the first one I rolled, I'm going to use Lucky because <laughs> okay. it wasn't my favorite. So, I'm going to mark that off. No, I, I, I think it's unfair to say that you don't get advantage. You don't have to use Lucky if you don't want. Okay. He is helping you. Okay, that is a... Combat a thing, but... That's a 19. Okay. You're able to deconstruct this thing pretty well so, so that she doesn't seem to get injured in the process. You even realize as you're taking this last screw out that you're able to tell Tack, like, hey, once I do this, she will fall. So, Tack is able to be in a position to catch her. Tack, are you ready? Uh, I just kind of tack like gives him a nod and is ready to catch. I want to cast Mage Hand as I undo it and try and soften the blow. It's only ten pounds, but I figure that might help. Uh, and then I'll take apart that last screw. Okay. And as you remove the screw, um, you watch as the rest of her her body is unable to be. Um, propped up by this carapace any longer and uh tack yeah it it, it fa she falls onto you tack unconscious okay yeah i'm just gonna like roll her over to the side i guess and set her down on her back okay. um she seems in pretty bad shape um looks like she's been here quite a, a quite a long time very malnourished. Uh, it's still alive, but um, it, it looked like she was in rough shape without the wounds and with them. Um, very, very close to death. Okay. Well, I will use a potion then and kind of like try and tilt her head back went with her forehead then open her mouth up and then try and pour the potion in okay yeah you do and you open her mouth and you, you pour this potion in and a lot of it spills but it, it seems like you're able to get a lot of this uh into her system um and y you watch as like a little bit of color comes back to her let's do uh how much it heals for or does it it's like 1d6 plus your con or something yeah no this is just like a super basic potion this one's just 1d4 Okay. A minor potion of healing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I don't think that even exists. Healing. I don't even think that exists in D and D. I like created them because they're. Uh, she heals five. Five. Okay. HP. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, you feel a little better. You watch as some of the wounds, uh, some of the cuts and the the dagger wounds like close a little bit. At least they're not continually bleeding they they're able to close um and some of the the pigment in her skin starts to come back uh to her was it half elf or elf body half elf half elf body and um yeah uh, as you watch these wounds close uh slowly she opens her eyes um and you just hear a couple coughs <laughs> All right, all right. Who are you? It's it's kind of a long story, but 
We're here to get you out. I can I want to go and stand behind Tack and and put my hand be like, "Hi, um we 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 met your wife and and we know your son." You You know you know par- parent? Yeah, he's a pretty he's a pretty incredible uh he's a pretty incredible person and and we're going to make sure you get to see him again. I'd like that very much. Is is Taylor okay? Yeah, she's okay. She's just, you know her, kind of a dick, stressed with work. <laughs> she, yeah, she worries. I've, I'm, I've missed her. I think it's, it's been at least a few weeks. I don't know. You know, three to nine months even. <laughs> Give or take. What is time? <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you, S- Sir Goblin. Do you call me Tack? Tack. Thank you, Tack. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tack. Well, do you feel like we can help you up? Do you still need more time? <laughs> <laughs> Did not even feel that coming. Apologies. I that. <laughs> <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> wow. Such an intimate time? moment. <laughs> Oh god! Awesome. Uh-huh. She's awesome. Like, oh god. Describe the bottle cap again in one clip. Well, here, let me show you. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I'm so excited. All right. <laughs> okay. Writing down that timestamp. <laughs> yeah. I I think I can I can stand. I feel a lot better thanks to you. Yeah, I'll help her up then. Okay. I'll assist. Yeah, she seems like pretty pretty rough still, but able to function. Okay. Um guys, so, I yeah. go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna explain your surroundings. So you are on the opposite end, about ninety feet away from the rest of the guys. Um, yeah. and you guys all watched him do this, you know, slowly, uh, take down, uh, his mom and, uh, help her out. Um, you can see that she's awake and alive now. Um, and, uh, Tak and, uh, Togu around you guys, uh, behind the carapace is three, uh, coffins on the gun. They seem like kind of closed, like, um, not, they're not wooden. They're like these, uh, stone coffins. Um, and, uh, and then like, uh, behind that is like this this spiral staircase going upstairs. Um, each one of these uh, coffins seems to have some sort of like rose emblem on them. Mm-hmm. Do Do you know where you are? I, I don't. Sorry. This is this is supposed to be Saint's Paradise. The, the old travel agency. <laughs> yeah. No, this is it's not where I thought I was. What's what's the last thing you remember? Um just patrolling the streets. I I I remember trying to help with the city watch. There was some sort of killer, uh, a cleaver of some sort. I think that's yeah. what they called him. And before I knew it, I was I was here suddenly wrapped in darkness and it was a horrible feeling well you're okay now and then tack's gonna give her a hug oh uh thank you i want to investigate the um carapet and uh my intent is to 
remove two of the green daggers. All right. Um, yeah, let's do another. Uh, well, it's not history. I want to just do like a dexterity roll. Let's do sleight of hand. I just don't know what else to do okay. for this. That is a 21. Yep. You're uh, out of the. I'm going to say that there are 10 daggers connected to this thing. Um, you're able to get about four of them out of it. Uh, are they throwing daggers or like stabbing daggers? <laughs> They're the stabby oh. stab kind. I think. Uh, are... It's a yeah. dagger sharpening. <laughs> you have. Let's go. Ah, I already have it. <laughs> Let's call them, uh, you have four uh, green ether daggers. Would I wield them as if I would wield church key or these distance daggers or size wise? I'm just looking for reference. Yeah, they're not big daggers. So I would say they're quite small. Okay. Um, I don't know I could whether you could use them for either or. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't have like disadvantage for throwing them though. I don't think so. Little daggers. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Um, once, uh, once Togu clears away from the thing, um, I want to take a step forward. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you step past taking that five foot distance. Um, and as you do, you watch as like something is trying to trigger in this thing that Togu dismantled. It's like, shh, shh, and it's not piercing in anything. It eventually just locks back like, and you don't watch as any power is transferred to the gargoyles. Um, guys, I think it's, I think it's safe that we can move forward now. Um, and I just want to, I want to, want to catch back up to everybody with like a brisk little like jog. Okay. Uh, Jace is, is Jace is still on the wall. He's like, "What should I do?" God damn it, Jace. Come on, Jesus. Jace. Get down. Just get down. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, Jeez, you saw, you saw that I could do this, little... right? I did see. Jace. It's very okay. cool, Jace. Thank you. Right. Congratulations, Jace. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Vampire King taught me this. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, and he just comes out like, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but there it, is. it sounds like you want to brag. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Do you, did you not you wanna, see it? Do you, do you want me to brag, show you again? Jace? Uh, yeah, let me show you. And he's like, yeah. And he just goes up the wall again <laughs> and runs uh, like right up this wall. I say, keep running, Jace. And I, will, I turn to everybody else. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to, uh, once the rest of the bottle cap brigade is there, I figure I'm over by the carapet. I want to kind of slowly dip back and take a look at the coffins. Okay. Um, yeah, there, there's like these the stone, like catacomb like scenario. And uh, there are three of them. Um, and these huge stone slabs are on top uh, of each one, but it has like this, this rose uh, kind of signet emblem. Um, and I believe you've uh, seen this before one of you grabbed one of the things from that um it was sitting on top of the letter that you guys found in that basement the, it's the, the, the actual rose the, the rose that hadn't that was alive despite being there for a long time I think uh, when, I still got it. when mars went into the basement something reflected light and as you went further down it was there was like a rose signet on top of the letter I don't remember that shit. I remember the letter. Yeah. I, um, I, I ooh, hope I said ooh, that to my notes, I took, at least. Fuck, you did. You 100% did. And I took okay. notes. Give me a second. Woo! Notes. Um, so, uh, I just... Uh, I, I, yeah, I want to go up to the half-elf lady and be like, um, is, are, are you okay? Are you feeling, you feeling all right? I feel a lot, a lot better. Thank you. Cool. Uh, well, um... My name's Eridris. Uh, we're, we're the Bottle Cap Brigade. Um, oh. We're here to help. I haven't heard of you, but you're impressive. Thank you. Um, it's probably best that you haven't heard of us yet. Um, <laughs> but, 
uh, they sing a song about us. Uh, don't don't tell her about the song, Darrow. <laughs> God. Um, do, 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 do you want to sing? It? Sorry, Julie. Also, I'm Mars. It's great to meet you. Not part of the Bartle Cat Brigade here as a guest. Um, could I? Could I? Um, could I heal you a bit? I can't promise it's much, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that would be wonderful. Thank great. You. Okay. Oh no, that's the wrong fucking dice. No, nope, that's the wrong dice. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you say when the roll is bad? You're like, that's the wrong one. I mean, <laughs> from the guy who forgot his Seven. dice. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. I'll uh, pull some butterflies from Seven. my. Seven. Um, there you go. Let them rest on your shoulder. When I see oh. your pretty face. Okay. Yep. Did you just um, keep getting yeah, Yahtzee dice and rolling those? <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> She's got the Yahtzee. cup. I picked up a D20, then a D12, and then it was a D8 that I needed. <laughs> There's just three colors on the dice oh, and nothing else. She's like, damn it, damn it. I got a blue. So, uh, yeah. I, you... I, I, I turned to the half-elf lady. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what's your name? I'm, I'm Vani. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. And again, thank you so much to all of you. Uh Oh, Va 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 Vani, and I look over at Tack, because I mean we've been together for a long time. I'd be surprised if uh, I'm like, oh, oh, Va oh, Va Va Vani. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Hey guys. Hmm. Uh, well, Togu needs something. I'll be back. Do you remember? Oh, so um, do you guys remember, and I want to just describe the roses that I see in the coffins to the rest of the team. Guys, do you remember the rose that we found, that signet we found on on, on the note at the at the butcher shop? It looks a lot like the roses on these coffins. Didn't it say something like on a note about a, a plague or something, or was that a different note? Was that the um, same note, DM? Now, I have... I have some stuff. I have the Holy See script and my life, my journey, a memoir of Jax. <laughs> I had I had that Esmeralda has a note. Um, I don't. Yeah, I took a note. A, I think I, I think that's the thing that was. The, yeah, that should be it. Because it was after there was a note. There was a, a rose that never quite died, like on the table, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and I, I still have that. And there was a note that I read. Yeah, with that, the, with the voice. <laughs> yeah, with the voice. Yeah, or, yeah. I, you, yeah, I, uh, I still have the note if you need it. Uh, is cool. it the one that said uh, they got the plague curse from the bad meat shipment, or is that a different note? That yeah, oh, that's okay. that note. I think. Mm. Okay. okay. Oh, that one. Okay, cool. Can I go over to the the coffins, and I want to like. If there's dust on it, I want to. Oh yeah, it's very dusty. Yeah. Okay, I want I blow on it to kick up the dust. Esmeralda blow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's my name. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like shh, all of this dust comes off of it, and you're able to clearly see uh, the um, like the 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 emblem on it. Okay. Um. Is there any blood coming from the coffins? Because I know there was blood coming from the thing. Lady. Uh, the lady. Uh, was, what would you guys call it? Precipice? No. Carapace. It's Carapace. car parts. It's, yeah, car parts. Car parts. <laughs> car parts. It's a carport. It's a carport. Corporeal. Uh, did, so is there any blood or anything coming from the... And are the, the coffins closed? They're very fully, much like, closed. Yep. Yeah. Fully okay. closed. Yep. Anything I could tell from any of them as far as like blood flow. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wow. What a question. I don't think that you notice any blood for the, as far as like the drain in the room doesn't seem to um correlate. Well, you don't have any evidence to correlate the two. Looking at it, no. Oh, I kind of want to open one of these coffins, y'all. <laughs> or I actually, get to do it, Esmeralda. Okay. Esmeralda, I'm gonna... do it. Maybe check for traps just in case. I don't know. I'm gonna kind of put my hands oh. on the coffin, and then I want to remember. There's a staircase, a spiral staircase going up, though. 
Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to I want to look at the actually I want to look up the spiral staircase to see if there's a, I could see anything from the bottom and just kind of do that one thing like put my like kind of step like one two and just like look up into the spiral staircase mm. see if I can hear anything or see anything or let's perception anything. roll Back. yeah you could feel something your mm. drama sense is off is the there scale drama up there? <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be laughs> <funny. Yay! laughs> I'm, I'm opening another. Here we go. That's fun to say when it's just unsweetened tea. It's a blast. <laughs> You're gonna be so oh caffeinated. God. I know. I'm actually a little concerned about the caffeine, but it, it is what it is. Um. All right. So you look up there. What a funny roll <laughs> or time to roll twenty. <laughs> I know. I could have done it at a cooler time, but who who cares? <laughs> I like it. Um. I'm going up a staircase. Okay, at the top of the stairs, um, you, you this is what you make out from from down there though. Um, you can see that it seems to be like, it seems like a sort of small room, um, and you notice like a door. You also notice like a huge gargoyle face, um, very much stone, and it seems like the similar from your position because you rolled a natural twenty. Um, for, I wouldn't normally just say this stuff, but you, you notice, uh, you're like, that looks just like the Lieutenant Gargoyles, the massive, huge ones that you fought. Okay. In Souther. And so I can see that, like, is his head coming down or something? Cause that's- No, you could, no, it's not looking at you. You can I just, just tell, can tell that, that he's- That the statue of a massive gargoyle is up there. It looks similar to the Lieutenant Gargoyles. Is it the full statue or just the head? Um, I mean, you can I just... probably see the head and know that you... there's a full statue up there. You reckon. Yeah. Okay. Do I remember if that's the kind of gargoyle that we, it doesn't, it's not triggered by magic. Like we just have to keep our eye on it or. It seems stone at the moment. Yeah. Okay. I relay oh. everything I just saw to oh, them from fuck. the bottom. Hey, Drus, are you going to be a hero and try and fight him? We need to get Vanya. Oh, yeah, I hope, I hope we're all going to be a hero and try to fight him. We absolutely, yes, yes, Tack, that is, a, that is a great idea. We should absolutely get Vanya out of here. Um, yeah. Uh, Jace pops up. I, I can take her home. Jace, we kind of need you. Like, you're like. You could send her back with the no, Voltron. Don't. Yes, that's. All right. <gasps> Mercenaries. We can send her back with... Yeah, Please. Perky. <laughs> Perky's like, that's not really in our, our unionized contract. You guys, that's exactly what's in your contract. Helping people. Yeah, totally. Whoa. Super you important. You were hired to, to do a job. And this is what we're telling you to do. Do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Punter's like, I it's think totally we like should do good... that. The lady said so. Perky's Thank like, you, oh, you okay. Uh, I guess that's, yeah, okay. We'll do that. Is that um, is that okay? Ta- ta- I mean, is, is that okay, Tack? Yeah, she she needs to go back. Okay. It's okay. All right, cool. Um, cool beans. Okay, so it, the, hey, uh, the five. Vani, uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. ask my Vani. Um, bef- before you leave, you you don't remember anything of of this room, right? Uh, I mean, I know I've been here for a while. I would lose conscience, consciousness from time to time, and it feels slowly like my my energy just leaving me. It's it's been horrible. Can you remember anything that you might have heard or or seen? Something that can help us as we look to you know stop whatever evil is going on here um a smell a sound anything well we can do a lot with smells if you remember (laughs) smells um well there is one thing uh i would sometimes hear sounds from behind me these these coffins i'm finally able to see them my position and whenever i tried to turn or look it just there's nothing there but there was always this feeling of 
somebody watching. I don't know. It, that seems ridiculous. Hey, you've been through a lot. It's not ridiculous at all. At all. And I promise you, you've helped more than you think. For all of us. It's nice to hear. Let's get you out of here, huh? That'd be great. So her and the union, uh, the union of five mercenaries take off um, and start to leave. And as they're starting to leave, like she looks back at you, Tack, and it, like just seems kind of confused and then just walks out the door. I want to go hey, over fuck to Tack. Tack, that was your mom. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, Are you really sorry, hydrate. Idris? <laughs> hydrate. Before I tell you, I'm just going to take a drink. We'll sir, talk about this later. Oh. He gave the kid a drink. Who did that? It's just in my inventory. <laughs> I, I look over at Togu like, mm. I'm just kidding. Tax drunk as fuck. No, he's I just a, gave him a pipe. Sorry. He's a, he's a child. <laughs> he's an alcoholic child. We accept you for who you are, Tech. We love you. Um, yeah, I just... We, we need to figure out what's going on here before I talk to her. Good for you. Well, right. we're, 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 we're here for you. We, we got your back. Um, I know how shitty, shitty stuff can go. So. Yeah, it's been, it hasn't been great for either of us. Well, I mean, it's not, a, you know, there's no reason to compare. I just want you to know that. The tech you know, puts his hand out for a high five. I punch it. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, give it. Nux. You, you stick shift it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um yeah i mean no it, it of course yeah cool we'll get through it yeah absolutely you know i got your back that's cool um so i mean that does settle it though um there's probably something inside these coffins um esmeralda I, open it open it no don't I, fucking open it wait don't oh dang it, it. <laughs> i got an idea I get right to the edge of it where I'm about to flip it open with my boots. Okay, I, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna float this out there. Um, if you guys don't like it, just send it right back. We don't have to do it. But what do you guys think about maybe us heading up those stairs? We can deal with the butcher, but on our way up, let's light this whole piece of shit on fire. I agree. I Wait, think it's I a small room though. What if we can't get out? Yeah, I we don't know of an exit. We'll probably way. find a window or something. There's always oh, a window. Oh boy. <laughs> Mars. Disc. Yeah. Well, uh, it can only hold 500 pounds, but can you use some fey magic and? I mean, I don't have anything for flying. Guys, there's a Ironically. huge gargoyle up there. If we light this place on fire and then we go fight that guy and there's no way out, we're fucked. Do Wait I know second. from reading my book if we light this place on fire, if my dragon will finally hatch? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, but then you I, emerge naked out of yeah, the you do. <laughs> Dragon upon your your neck. Uh, I yes, Man, I haven't forgotten there. about your little friend Daryl, but uh, you, I mean, this, I mean, uh, you don't know. You know it's a dragon egg. I'm just curious. Wait, we make? they wouldn't. A giant gargoyles up there. Yes. They wouldn't keep they wouldn't keep a gargoyle lieutenant, a giant gargoyle in there without a place where it could fly out. You can't fit in these stairs. And I just want to like look at the stairs and be like, Ooh, the fuck? So all so cavalier about your lives and promise tomorrow. What? <laughs> <laughs> well then let's get this shit done. Guys, I, for me, I, I'm a little afraid of going up those stairs with that big massive gargoyle and leaving these coffins unlooked at because let's say there's something in these coffins and we go upstairs to fight the cleaver um if something comes out of them we get flanked and we are screwed i flip That's open a what coffin the fires for oh i i as as togo's saying that i just flip open a coffin i want to like, oh, like oh flip my god table, but just i pull out church key because fuck <laughs> yeah. Somebody smash it with like an old gargoyle. I don't know. 
<laughs> this vampire is going to be like super sleepy, like, uh, we're just going to be like, uh, <laughs> 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 ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Hit him while he's prone. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you you just shove open. Which one? There, so let's say there's one, two, three. Um, I shove the I mean, second like the one because I'm. I'm on the like staircase, so just like the middle one, probably. I'm middle just gonna one. Go up to it. The closest one to me, and just like like shove, flip the lid open. Okay. Uh, awesome. So you Is push it? this open, um, and as you open it, uh, it's uh, air. Just you see like a little fairy, and it's like, <laughs> like escaping. Um, it's the only one that sees that. <laughs> Like it's been trapped in there for for a millennia, and uh, doesn't look good. Uh, but the rest of you, it's like this musky, gross air. Like, um, Esmeralda, you've just first like what you see. It, it it almost smells kind of like rotten, like decaying. Um, but uh, it, it but it, it's kind of weird. It's a gross smell. It's a pretty gross smell. Like someone's been burping in a trapped environment for like several years, and I I look in. <laughs> to the coffin yeah. that vampire had some bad gas before <laughs> went to sleep um is that indian food huh yeah it, oh. is, it was the huge uh yeah it's a magnian uh favorite and you uh <laughs> slowly you're able to look over the side of this coffin esmeralda and as you look inside um something catches your eyes like this piece of metal like kind of like reflects off some some light um, and you start to look closer at it, and then you realize that what you're looking at is us going on break. We will see you guys I again. You <laughs> mother! You motherfucker! <laughs> he goes immediately. He's like, I gotta pee. That was a fun one. Uh, we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Uh, five minutes, I think. We'll keep this short. So, see you guys soon. Yeah. Appreciate you. See you in a bit. hello we are back um we were talking about some serious stuff including chocolate milk and shortening that to chalky milk but uh moving on to other subjects uh miranda what's going on man talk to me okay so the other day i like got a knock at my door and i opened it up and this this candle a warlock patron candle was just oh you can't even fucking see it okay <laughs> right in front of your <laughs> face <laughs> just in front of your face okay. oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> it, like appeared in front of my door and i was like what a warlock patron i guess i'll be one and i totally have been like lighting it every night and now this warlock gives me all these fucking dope ass dreams dope ass dreams <laughs> And it's all because I worship the great old one now. And you know why? It's because I started checking out a few burnthayers.com and uh, they hooked me up with this stuff. And little did I know, I ordered this. It didn't just appear at my door. I ordered this and I gave my soul to the great old one. And now I have great dreams. So like, do the thing. Check out a few burnthayers.com. They got cute stickers, cool shirts, a lot of candles, and little knickknacks. Right on. Well give done. your soul Woo! to it. Yeah, give your soul to this company. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> they accept soul currency and yeah. Bitcoin. <laughs> it's it's a, Bitcoin. Yeah. What else is there? Yeah, it's kind of a steep price to pay, but it's worth it. Worth it for candles, man. Um, thank you, Miranda. That was amazing. I gave you no time to do that. You just dished it out. You're impressive. Um, let's, let's jump back in, friends. Uh, so what the heck were we doing? You guys are at the bottom and you've just opened this, uh, I want to call everything a carapace. You opened this coffin. <laughs> um, it's a catch-all. It's one of those, you know, one of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like <laughs> we'll an call actress parry. Yeah. Uh, you push this open, Esmeralda, and, uh, you see a dead orc body with this, like, dagger through its chest. And at the, at the hilt of it, um, is like this little rose, um, this same emblem, same kind of like, like an actual rose, though. Is it moving at all? The corpse? Oh no! Yeah, it's it's dead. Nope. That's like okay, a dead cool. body. Yeah. I walk over to the other corpse. All right, next to no, the other coffin. All right, <laughs> and I flip that one over too. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I run over and like look what was in the other one. As she was like, oh god! And then, yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to look as well. Yeah. Can we like. 
make sure these are dead and just like, you know, hit, hit each of these as we open it up with all of our weapons, just all at once. Just as I'm sure. as I'm flipping the second coffin open, I'm like, it's a freaking corpse. This corpse is dead. And I, I open it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dead, I don't know. We're yeah. all one corpse behind Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> you just barely can't make it there in time. She's so fast. <laughs> Pushing over coffin lids uh yeah you do that and each one i mean they seem like three different orcs uh that are all uh very much dead and they very similar um they're all in like these brown robes um wearing nothing else uh and they just have these daggers through their chests uh i want to draw out one of the green ether daggers okay and then i want to lean over and i want to pull out one of the rose daggers. You Indiana Jonesing this? <laughs> uh, n- no, I'm just. I think I'm, I'm just, sick. I'm just readying. I'm readying the green one in case he moves to stab it in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it out, and if he moves, then I'm gonna stab it. All right. I hope you know you're getting yourself into. I never do, bro. Right. <laughs> I know. You know, no investigation. Just let's rip Togu out. has a weird <laughs> Togu has a weird thing for daggers. You put a funky cool dagger in front of me, I want it. You want it? All right, cool. I want it. I want it. Um, funky cool right. Medina. I'm on to the. Am I, how how? Uh, so I flipped over the second. I've opened the second one. I think didn't you open all three or just two? Yeah, I opened all three. I was just making yeah. sure that I yeah. yeah I opened the second one, looked inside, yeah, dead still, and then I opened the third one. The same yeah, one. you find three dead orcs that are all stabbed in the chest. Okay. And then uh, Togu, uh, the which one are you pulling it it out of the center? Let, let's go center left to right. Oh, center. He, 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 he gave some softball twos. Like, hey, we got two outs. We got two outs. <laughs> Dude, softball's in two weeks. I gotta get ready. Yeah, get prepped. I'm about to play next week. It was hey, big we got two down outs. Like, right here. Hold on, man. <laughs> yeah, we all know that's true. It's fine. So you. Uh, yeah. Red man. Yeah, man. The best. Um, yeah, dude, you rip this thing out and you're like ready to react, um, and it's just a dead body. Okay, I want to investigate the dagger. Okay. Oh, roll for him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like knew that you weren't going to roll, and I'm like, I'm not going to say anything, just see how it ha- lands. What an investigation? That is a 16. Nice. Um, hmm. You've never seen a dagger like this before. Uh, it it seems in foreign. That's the best way I'll say that. Okay. Uh, do I notice any arcana or anything like that? Or just a normal dagger? Um, I mean, you can do an arcane check, but... Um... Yeah, I'll do it. That, an arcane check... Uh... That is a 18. Nice. Uh, yeah, it seems very magical to you. Uh, it seems like some sort of like old magic, something you don't understand very well. Yeah. Um, I, um, I just I turned to Esmeralda. I'm like, uh, um, Esmeralda, did that did that one letter that you picked up out of that room say anything about three orcs by chance? I pull it out and I look I look through it. Just, just, just read that. I want. Um, I mean, we might be able to gauge by the voice. <laughs> you want me to read it in the voice that I, that I read it in that one time that was. Famous yeah, yeah, the exact good? same voice that you read. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't have the letter. Okay, hold on. Give me a second here. Oh, I'm not, I can. Read it. That's true. Uh, session read fifty-two, it. if that helps. Or no. Well, no, no I, session fifty, if that helps at all. I'm gonna throw it in the chat in our here. You can read that however you want. Oh, perfect. You got to read out loud for all our viewers. Krug, yeah, that's that's or that's a that's an orc as hell. Um, okay. Uh, I wonder if. Oh. What? Yeah. Wait, no, it's cool. I just do you want me to read it or like what? Yeah, huh? yeah, read it because everyone else doesn't know that I sent this oh. to you. <laughs> that's fair. no. I thought Eric just was talking, so I was like, eh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can't keep living like this. My brothers and I caught plague or curse. Grum <laughs> thinking from the new meat supplier, but he's as smart as an all bearer. 
Big Brother Bog says he's found an elf looking man who will take away the curse. Says he's can beaten death and such. We'll see tomorrow, I suppose. At the old traveler's building. See something? I hope it's gonna be working. I hate seeing Grum cry. Signed, Craig. Amazing writing. That- wow. <laughs> Do you guys think that whenever, I mean, cause, I mean, I think we all know who the elf is, right? Because that guy's been a dick to us this whole for the past like three to nine months. Um, <laughs> but uh, do you think that maybe he was just tricking these three guys into coming in and getting stabbed with daggers, and that's how he was fixing the plague? I think from everything you guys have told me about this Griot character, there's no reason you should trust him at all or find this letter sincere in the least bit. Person. I want to investigate and pull out the dagger in uh, Orc 1. Same system. She's pulling the daggers out. I hope Do any of them happen to have uh, on name tags? <laughs> no. Uh okay. Yeah, you you pull the dagger out. Um yeah, I mean it's just a lifeless body. Okay. Same dagger? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab the third one too. Okay. Yeah, you have, you have three daggers. Over here like, I got knives, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have one? Can I I wanna reach out my hand like I got a haunted cleaver. If you want to. Uh, I'm just gonna like flip the knife in my hand, and like grab it by the blade and then hand it to her. Yes, cool. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm holding it like a tiny sword, um, <laughs> and then I want to be like, "All right, so upstairs or what?" I think that's what's next. That's the only step next. Cool. I I I start going up the stairs. Okay. I head up there too. I'm following. I'm, I'm gonna follow you, Esmeralda, but I'm gonna trust you, okay? To, to find mm, I want to reach. I want to reach my hand back for Tech. Tech's gonna grab Togo's hand and follow him. Okay. Yeah. So buddy you guys. System. Yeah, you gotta have the buddy system. Buddy! You guys... <laughs> I turn around and I hold my hand out. <laughs> I, 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 I I look at Esmeralda like. I run up that, like embarrassed that, a... that I, I let that happen. <laughs> I'm like terrified. Like, uh, I don't. I, you know, no offense. It's just I, I get hit a lot when I'm gone. I ran. I ran up the stairs. I'm embarrassed. I like. I look around. I'm like, I turn back to everybody else. I don't know what to do. And I, uh, since she ran, I would Naruto run up the rest of the stairs. I didn't know what to do. do. <laughs> I fucking so love that. Oh my god. All right. Um, interesting. So, uh, Kat, you're first then? Mm-hmm. All right. You, you're you embarrassed in just taking off running, and you get to the top of this. It's like a small, it's almost like a little mud room as you get to the top. Mm-hmm. Um, this gargoyle seems like barely, like it's barely fitting in there, this huge thing. Um, and there's just, uh, you get to the top of the stairs, you're like facing it. Um, it you don't see it like react or do anything. Um, it's just this monstrous thing, like your whole body is like its arm, you know, like the, the width of it. And um, it's just sitting there and you can see it's like it's holding some sort of like, um, I forget what you call those. Those like halberds with that. Mm-hmm. And okay. um, it's holding a massive one, right? And it's all stone, everything about it. Um, and then right uh, to the right of it is this little door. <laughs> it's emotions. Oh, okay. I was thinking it's... Tear. It, it's... It's stoned. Gargnards. <laughs> Gargnards. <laughs> Stone Gargnards. Stone Gargnards. Gargnards. Uh, but there's a little door to the right. Okay. Uh, I run up and I like come face to face with it and I do a little with a knife in, <laughs> in one hand and I'm like, I can't try it. And then yeah. I kind of like <laughs> scoot to the side and I, I look at the door and I just kind of want to like scoot and be like, everyone be careful. And then I like sidestep while looking at the gargoyle and then go into the door. Okay. Are you guys all going up with her then? Um, what are you guys doing yeah. to get to the top? 
I, I Naruto ran up the stairs after she started running. I take it three steps at a time, but very slowly. And I, I <laughs> stare at either Tak or Toku directly, like, in the eyes as I do it. Speechlessly. I <laughs> ignore it. Sorry. What, Mars? <laughs> I'll go last. Okay. I stare at Mars, too. You're last. You're so we last. need as many of the party members to be between Mars and whatever it is that we are being attacked by. <laughs> I love how Mars keeps saying, More not a member of the Bottle Cap Brigade. Just, just, just to really clarify. <laughs> not yeah, here. Like, uh. <laughs> oh, these, these clowns don't know them. Thank don't you. Know. <laughs> they don't speak for me. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, when you open the door, um, it is a room uh, that has, it seems like it's like something has cast darkness in it. You cannot see at all anywhere. Okay. How to spell that, Doro? I can't see it! I can't see anything! Well, yeah. I wouldn't uh, say it's it just been cast, it just it has darkness in the room. So, I cast, I just cast Daylight. Um, that would be the answer, I believe, uh, <laughs> to the <this> scenario. <yeah. laughs> Why didn't you try to use that on the fucking vampire, bro? <laughs> I I take uh, my my hand and I sh say, "Shut up, Togu," and I put daylight <laughs> on, top of, on top of Togu's head. <laughs> hey, Togu's got beautiful hair, fully covered. Doesn't even and know. Macaroni. It. And what, now Jimmy it is like the shining sun With radiating from your head. <laughs> Dude, what what level of delight? You. It's like mantle of per in, like enthralling or whatever. Where Togu just looks like glitter, bro. <laughs> uh, I didn't know I cast it at a level. I thought it was just a thing. It's like that flashlight level where you like you can put <laughs> flashlight on and then you could like. Anyway, Luigi's yeah, uh, I'm casting it at. Uh, it casts at third level. It's an inherent trait of myself. Alrighty, you guys watch as the room slowly uh, becomes illuminated. Um, you realize that you're in this maybe like a 35 foot uh, radius circular room, um, and it's not massive. Um, you can see tons of holes all over the ground, um, like thousands of like tiny little holes throughout the entire ground and um you also see three cleavers that are just on the ground i want to pick one up <laughs> three cleavers all right yeah <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna hold daryl back i'm gonna be like no <laughs> as what? as this is all happening can i just be like kind of looking around all the rooms like just like taking in some of the finer details like on our way like like even in the big gargoyle room and then because all all the information i remember getting is it's a big room and has a gargoyle in it and there's a door yeah i don't know if there's too much more to say i mean it was like a there's wooden nothing okay cool and then <laughs> okay uh, yeah how about the and then the circular room all that's in it are holes and cleavers yeah, and then so at the. Damn it! That's a naughty dungeon. Oh man, I am so proud of us because yeah. none of the dudes said anything. <laughs> I said it in inside of me. It... I'm I'm holding Daryl back from picking up. Like I'm like like I bear said, hugging. Him you don't have to hard. try very hard. I weigh like ten pounds. I just okay. turn back and I'm just, just like. I weigh ten pounds. Es Esmeralda, let me let me go pick up one of those cleavers. They're haunted as fuck, man. Yeah, that's why I want to pick one up, Esmeralda. <sighs> okay. Do you want to pick? Do you want to? Do you want to take me over there? I'll pick it up. <laughs> sure, and I I walk him over. <laughs> I, I put him down very gently right before the the cleavers, and I say, "Don't I wanna... say I didn't warn you." Yeah, but don't it say I didn't warn. Don't say I didn't warn you. Do do I have Ong? <laughs> Um, I can't remember. I just don't remember you saying you wanted to resummon him. I thought that was an unspoken rule, but I uh, that's fine either <laughs> way. <laughs> I thought that was uh, 
I want to. <laughs> um, I want to turn to Jace and be like, hey, um, Jace. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot yeah. you're still here. <laughs> I'm here, yeah. Yeah, I'm also here. <laughs> oh, God. Um, right in front of Mars. <laughs> does, yeah, you, you can does, have Ong, by the way. But continue. Okay. Does any of this make any sense? I mean, I know that you and Yevon have you know, been working together for like 10 years, and then this is a big rivalry you know, that he has. What do you make of this? Yeah, this is this is pretty weird. Um, doesn't seem very, very vampire-y. Uh, I'm an expert on vampires. Are we all in the room now? He has been a great... I just turned to the rest of the gate and like, <laughs> you know, as a gift from Yevon, he has been an incredible help. I, I like clap right in front of Eridris. Don't fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not that cool. Why is everyone think he's super cool or something? And I look at Jake and I go... <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, and just to myself, oh, I'm not very good at sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. as, you, uh. as you look around, Eridris, uh, with your, when you say that, uh, you're like, oh, and you notice like this, uh, like cabinet in the back, and it has all these little bottles and tinctures. There's a cabinet. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> That was a read. <laughs> I send Ong to grab one of the cleavers for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, it, it swoops in and grabs this cleaver and brings it back to you. I just say, Ong. Yeah. What do you feel weird when, when you grab that cleaver? Does that make you feel it's weird? It's like in his mouth. He's like, Carlo. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I, I just want you to hang on to that for a while. Okay, bud. We can talk telepathically, but I still used to use my mouth. That's fine. Just, uh, <laughs> hang, hang on to that, um, and keep on following us around. I uh, and okay. uh, don't get lost, okay? Okay. Thanks. Esmeralda, are those cleavers the same as the one that you have? Yep. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> Did I warn him? Yep. Did he listen? Actually, yeah. Did he care? No. So. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh I I just want to walk over to like where the holes start and I want to kind of like give it a little like I'm still standing. I just want to like see if I can if they're like full on holes in the floor or if there's like something there. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um as you like look into that, you can see like these something like metal that's shimmering back at you. Oh, okay. All right. Um that uh, that might have a spiky in it, guys. Oh. Um, in fact, I just want to go. Um, I go and like I position myself very close, like kind of in the doorway. Okay. Like very close. Yeah, you're in the doorway. Yeah, and on the back side of the room is where that cabinet is. Probably 35 okay. feet away from well, you guys. Um, how, oh, how much space is in between each hole? Ooh, um, that's a good question. Five to could, six inches? Yeah, if you were a ballerina, you could maybe be successful here, uh, but pretty minimal. Uh, let's go with, like, maybe uh, two inches. Okay. Um, and, and there's a cabinet with some with with some things um and how far how far away is that 35 35 <laughs> feet okay cool um god is this gonna help all right you guys i i need to do a little bit of thinking here for a second so well uh, um give, give me a sec I, I might have an idea would you explain the holes again i missed that yeah, the whole uh, everywhere on the floor is covered in these tiny holes, and Eri just noticed oh, that there was some shimmering two metal apart. in it. Yeah, got just it. The entire floor. Are there holes on the ceiling? No. Are there holes in the cabinet? <laughs> it's not like a. <laughs> it's not a holy cabinet, no. Are there holes in the door? Diameter. There, it's not holes in the door. It is. There are only holes in the floor. Tight butt holes. Okay. <laughs> hey Darrow. Hmm? Hey Darrow. Um, yes. The They're tiny little holes. I, I'm, I think Eric just, just pointed out all these holes in the floor. Do you want to just send 
Ong walking across. Uh, oh. Ong like looks at Daryl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but Maybe. here's my here's my concern is that he'll only die once, and then it takes like forever I love- for him. I, mm-hmm. and, I like this new voice for Og. Way more fun than the angry version of him. I Sorry, love, is, I it, is it is it all dirt, or what's it made out of? What the what? The ground, the floor. Oh, it is. Uh, it's actually all wood. Yep, everything on the upper level. Okay, um, guys, you know, I think that we all have some some uh, companions that might be able to make it to that cabinet over there. And maybe with their combined effort, can get Our, up in it. They're not here anymore, buddy. They took... They took I, Tax Mom back. No, 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 no. That's not who I'm talking about. And then um, Steve comes out of my, the sock is like, Hey, are you guys talking about me? What's going on? <laughs> oh. Hey, I can help. I want to call out Swarmzy. <laughs> I don't have like a voice or anything yet. And yeah. I just say, on go, go Cleaver first, okay? You go in front of both of them, all right? Keep them safe. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Steve, go uh, avoid all of those holes. Do not just, just slither in between the holes and see if we can get that cabinet open, okay? Wow. <laughs> okay, Dad. Let's do it. I lean Wait. over to Mars like, are we all supposed to have like a little friend that we just sacrifice like <laughs> willy nilly? Or is that you like- said we're you said we're thirty five feet away from the cabinet? Yeah. Hey, you fucking asshole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're thirty one feet away. Yeah, how does that sound? Dash to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're thirty five feet away. Uh, let's do a roll for Steve. That um, do an acrobatics. That sounds good. I don't know okay. what its stats are. Just roll a d20. A 30 Dude, you should have made him roll the sleight of hand with disadvantage because he's a That's snake. That's a seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> seven. Great. I mean, I figured the two inches between each hole would be yeah, yeah. large enough for his body. It definitely seems like a dangerous vibe for him still if you want him to embark on this mission. Okay. Never mind, Steve. He immediately starts and almost goes onto a thing. You're like, no, 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 never mind. Um, I want Ong to do it. I don't know if it's because oh. I'm so back. I don't know if it's because I'm down the stairs a bit still, but I, I said I'll, I'll, I'll push my butterflies out into the room. Do it, well, Mars. Th- yeah, that's what I, I figured. I figured between I don't. I just didn't know if like only your butterflies could open the thing, okay. and so like. Between Steve and Ong and your butterflies, I figured that you like they could, you know, do something. Um, <laughs> Jace looks at you guys. Jace looks. <laughs> Jace looks at you guys. He's like, man, I wish I could help. I just used all my spell slots. Jace, can you just walk on the fucking ceiling and go open that cabinet real fast? Ooh, totally. You um, use all your spell slots, fucking walking on walls, you dingus. But uh, honestly, wasn't even that cool. I can't wait it for wasn't. Esmeralda just to murder Jace. Like, sorry, I couldn't do <laughs> or it. Or we fall in love. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the two options. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Uh, but Mars, you want to send butterflies up there, over there? Yeah. Oh, is Jace sure. not cool with walking on the wall and? Oh, he used to all his done? spell slots. He used all his spell slots. We slot. talked at the exact same time, so I don't think you heard me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I made a joke okay. about it. I'm <laughs> mad. <laughs> I'm so mad at Jake. It's very convenient. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to cast it three to... times. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to take. Uh... What should I put here? I'm just. I'm. I'm going to take out my bathrobes, um, the hotel oh. bathrobes, and um, I'm going to wrap. Um... Uh, fuck. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna toss the uh, toss the bathrobes onto the holes and see what happens. And are Mars's butterflies passing like around me at this? Like, are they kind of coming by me? Or yeah. he just threw his bathrobes on the butterflies. So <laughs> they all get trapped <laughs> and. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, there's a lot of things going on. Um... So uh, first, the butterflies are, are. Did you want? Where did you want them to go? The butterflies. Um, 
I mean, kind of wanting wanted them to like dash between the holes to get to the cabinet. Okay, yeah. So first off, they, they you know they start making it um, over there and they get to the cabinet pretty safely. It seems. Air, just you throw this thing down um, the bathrobe, and uh, you don't see anything like activate or anything take place. I want to go and um, just at the very tip, grab the bathrobe and yank it back. Okay. Yeah, you got your bathrobes again. Bathrobe. Cool. Thanks. And Daryl, yeah, you did get swarmed with butterflies at some point as they came through. I see if Miranda's or if uh, Mars isn't paying attention, and I just kind of take one and I put it in my. Oh my god! Schedule. Okay. Um, no, no, let's... you could just ask me for one. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't know you. Well... I didn't know you saw that. <laughs> smash, the, smash her wings to put in your pocket. No, I was really gentle. I just, I want it. What's its name? Look at her. Her name's Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, okay, I'm I'm just gonna we're gonna be best friends now. Give her to me really quick. Let me freshen her up. Can I like fix the wings? I thought I thought this was kind of a big deal. Okay, mm. thank you. Well I, I I just say that to myself. <laughs> okay. I wanna look at I wanna look at Darrow when he gets a butterfly and be like, this is pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dope. Yeah. I wanna knock him. <laughs> 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 She's, uh, compared to Swarmsy, though, she's a, a lesser butterfly, so she's kind of more like a moth, you know, not big. Nice. You give him a little... fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Togu, dumbass doesn't even know it's a fly. No, <laughs> <laughs> yep. no, it's a mosquito. So the entire time he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I found somebody who can appreciate these suggestions. <laughs> All I want to say in the entire thing, Mars, is thank you for Swarmsy. <laughs> and I want to put Swarmsy back in the shoulder. Quite cute. Adorable. <laughs> All right, what are you guys going to do? <laughs> are there holes underneath the cabinet? Uh, mm, I guess you can't see underneath it, but... It, uh... Yeah, or, or like around it, like could somebody stand there without actively being in danger of whatever spikies are coming mm. up? It doesn't seem like it, no. Okay, so it's <laughs> literally, so it's just this cabinet that's thirty five feet away. Yeah. <sighs> My movement is forty. If, <laughs> there, could they... if we got if we got as close to the holes as possible, and then uh, how far w away from the cabinet would we be? If you, wait, um, so currently you're like in like in the doorway before the holes start uh, right. happening, and you're 35 feet away from the cool. cabinet. So, so how how much how much space of non-holy platform do we have? You um, see what I'm saying? I guess you guys walked into the the room, and I didn't say that you were standing on the holes. So, I guess you have like a foot. Okay. Thanks for cheering, Swashbuckler MF. Yeah, I, I love, love you. Swashbuckler, that's well, awesome. Clover, too. <laughs> swashbuckler MF. So <laughs> they're a Swashbuckler motherfucker, <laughs> dude. Ahoy, motherfucker. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. He's a Swashbuckle Rem fuck. <laughs> yes. Yep, you're right. <laughs> he, I don't know why. <laughs> Rem sleep. Yeah. Rem. <sighs> So we don't know their pronouns, so we're not quite sure it's a he. Let me see. Um, fucking. Yeah. Um, I. Do I notice the cabinet too, or is that just an Eridris? Hey, there are. Yeah, you guys all see it. Okay, there I want to move to the cabinet. Oh, yeah, I still have my disc, huh? Yeah, I, I want to stop <laughs> yeah. Esmeralda and be like, uh, hey, where's your cab? Where's yeah. your disc? It's right here, and I just kind of spin it around. Do you want to get on? I'll just push you across again. Hey, I tell you what. Why don't you put me on it? We don't even have to go that far. I literally need six feet. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I take a little piece of rope, and I just I tie it around you just daintily, uh, and I just say, good luck. Uh, I want to use... So the cabinet is full of little potions and trinkets, right? 
Uh, yeah, you can see that there's some, like, ones with green powder in it. I want to use Mage Hand and... Well, I'm going to ask the crew. Guys, I think I'm going to grab one of it's the... It's the green powder! The green powder is the one we okay. need! I'm right. You guys are ready? I'm going to grab it right now. We cool? Mm. I'm done. Yeah. Mars is going to prep a bow just in case. Or an arrow. Just I'm just like, Hack's going to pull out the vacuum. I'm going to prep fireball. And then okay. I'm going to pull out... I'm going to pull out one of my ether daggers, use mage hand, and grab one of the powder vials. I'm also holding my ether dagger. All right, sounds good. Um, with Togu tethered with a rope to Darrow, um, he drifts just close enough to be in, within range of his mage hands, about six feet as far as I understand. And uh, yeah. then you watch as slowly as Togu's mage hands are getting closer and closer to the bottles. Um, the cabinet is just getting larger and larger as the these hands from the hands view. They just get closer and closer, and with within seconds, he is just a foot or two away, and he goes to grab it, and you just I grab one it. of the bottles. I want to bring it back to me. Yeah, you bring it back. You I have just, the bottles. <laughs> I dropped a bunch of dice. Cool. Oh, oh drink. Oh, um, I, I thought that was gonna be us going on break, so I was like, "Fucking break!" Yeah, me too. I'm <laughs> I was like, like oh, I, the time." Like, I'm like, it. yeah, it said thirty. I'm like purposely fucking with you guys, and now this is fun. Uh, so I grabbed one bottle or a whole shit ton. Uh, there were I mean, two. Was, if you wanted two. Oh, there were only the two. Yeah. Is that the only thing on the cabinet? Um, yeah, there were some like other different uh, potions you didn't know or something. <laughs> In bottles, but the, it, as far as the the, the condensed ether powder, um, you now have two of them. I I want to I want to clear off the cabinet, bring everything back to the back to the desk. Okay, so if if the first those, ether ones don't do anything, I just want to keep using and bring them back. You guys watch as he p takes them, puts them in his actual hands, and then his mage hands go back out again, and slowly they get closer and closer to grabbing these bottles. And there's a there's a purple one, a blue one, and a yellow one. Purple. That's all you want? Just the purple one? Oh well, first I'm gonna grab all of them. Okay. But no, let's just grab all sure three. If you tell he me. does he does something yeah. where he's like he's got two between three fingers pulling it back. Um, <laughs> he, dude, he's, he works in the service industry. You can carry all that shit in one hand. What kind of service? So you Ranch? grab all those three. <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> That one got me. I don't know why that was funny. That was really funny. Though. It's so true. Okay, so you, uh, yeah, you bring them all back to you, man. You got, you've got, um, you have a mysterious purple potion. You have a blue potion um, that uh, you don't really understand either. And you also have uh, this yellow um, liquid. And as you pop it open and smell it, it's clearly urine. Oh, Thanks. hey, Daryl, I... it's a healing potion. I use shape water and put some of it in his mouth. Oh no, God. you don't. I don't tell you it's pee, dumbass. I'm offering care. you a healing potion. I don't care if you tell me that or not. I use shape water and put some of it in your mouth. I don't trust you. No, no, shut. I use. Oh, I can't use it. You know, but if water. you don't know, if he doesn't know what it is, and he just sees a liquid and then forces someone to drink it, like it could be like poison or something. Like this is maybe. A, a reason for you guys to all murder Darrow, I think, as far as I understand. <laughs> I think it's something that Darrow would absolutely do if you offer, if you told me to drink something. I didn't tell you to drink it. I said it's a health potion. Here's a health potion. I don't potion. trust you. I don't trust you, what? Togu. Okay. I, it's trust a good thing you, Togu. I just want to be like, it's a good thing you didn't trust me. It was pee. And then just throw it over my shoulder back towards me. I the you shape water and catch some of it <laughs> as it's going, as it's going. And I, and I form it into a little ball and I kind of like inch it towards Togu's mouth. I say, put out your tongue, Togu. Stop it. I'm not going to do it. You put out your tongue, I'm not friend. I'm not gonna do it. I want to use mage friends? hand. And, I want to use mage hand. And, I'm gonna use mage hand and slap the ball I, of I'm, pee. I move it around. Are we best friends? <laughs> no, you don't get to get to move it around. <laughs> are, are best, we best friends, friends trust each other. God damn it. God, he just, he just Okay, we're best friends, friends I, and I, I let the pee go, but it oh, goes on the hog. I go, I'm sorry, Andrew, are you jealous or something? <laughs> Guys, this is not the time. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> hmm. So I got, we've got two of the. The ether powders, a purple potion, and a blue potion. I don't know what either of them do. I'll drink. Okay. One. 
Let's go put it on that shit. gargoyle. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to blow that shit up. What's with the holes in here? Don't step on them. There's something shiny and probably pokey in them. But I've are, seen enough traps in my day it's made to know what spo- what pokies look like. Um, I want to reach into my bag, and I've got a Kraken cup, which I think was just like a Kraken-shaped goblet that I stole from the boat. I just want to roll it onto the floor. It didn't do anything with my bathrobes. Oh, good point. Well. Well, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I, the sp- I mean, the yeah, spikes roll- didn't trigger? They, oh, I, I, I never sure if you still did it. Yeah, they don't trigger. Oh, okay. Is there anything on the other side at all of interest? Or- other than the cabinet? Just that cabinet, yeah. It's kind of a dead end. Okay. okay. Well, dead end, guys. Come on, let's go to prom now. And I, I walk out the door towards the, the room where the gargoyle was. Okay. As you guys start to leave this Me too. room, um, and you bring uh, Togu's tethered body back, uh, you guys notice something. Something sinister. Um, <laughs> you guys notice that Togu systematically defeated all the bosses before you got to the boss battle accidentally. And now we're going to go on break. I hope you guys appreciate this session so far. Uh, We're going to take a quick break. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, By by his stupid want to remove daggers, uh, ending their eternal life as spirits. And there were only the cleavers that remained. Uh, So... That was funny, and I I wasn't sure if I should change what the boss fight was or just have you guys win. And so it just <laughs> those spikes were never gonna activate. <laughs> it was the boss fight room, but you guys you guys killed the bosses. Anyway, so we're gonna go on break. Uh, Wait, so he was like yeah, a ghost, and now he's just dead. Miracle. <laughs> there, were, there, were, there were three bosses that would not take any damage, no matter what you guys did, unless you realized that oh, that's their bodies are being suspended using the knives down below, and you'd have to go and pull the knife. Out. Dude. But High Toku just did it. Before. He's like, I take all the knives out. Like, that's what you want to do. Like, yeah, I don't even want to inspect it. I just rip them out. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I got the coffin inside. Yeah, so we have more session, but we're going to take a quick break. Oh. Um, we will see you guys in five minutes. Appreciate you. <laughs> that is <laughs> And we Hi, are Joe. back. Bye, Joe. Have a great day. A great night. Um, <laughs> Joe, real quick, I just uh, I just was trying to ask you uh, about that thing, and I'd love for you to talk about it. Yeah, Joe. His clothes look like a person. Are you okay? That's because there's a body back there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I beat him to death with these hard-ass metal dice and the dice that I got. Dang. Ooh. For a great deal. And I used a gift code that was given to me over the holidays for our great friend Goblin's Horde. So, I'm sure you've seen her in the chat tonight. She also has a (laughs) for a great deal. (laughs) 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 But no, yes, Dice Amy Dice, they've been awesome. We've been working with them forever. We all use all of their dice. Grace is a freak. We love them. Um, and <laughs> sorry, I was responding to a comment <laughs> where Grace said, I'm a freak. <laughs> it's gonna be really weird for anyone who can't read the comments as yeah. it's happening. Yeah, it's well, right. hey, follow us on Twitch and shit. I don't know. Follow yeah, us, yeah, check out our link tree, our follow socials, you YouTube if you need to catch up, if you need a, synop- a synopsis of old arcs, if you're a new viewer. Ooh, welcome. and we got one coming up. So. Come watch me be sad about my mom. Oh, God. God. Thank you. Both in real life and on stream. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. I don't know what that means. (laughs) Did this arc start the episode where Mars and Jolie switch places? Yep. So Mars is in a whole arc that's crazy. I don't think... Well, no. I think it started the minute you guys left Souther. So I don't know when that happened. Okay. 
Mm. Yeah. So no, you weren't Mars the whole time. It was partially in the way, partially yeah. in the arc. You've you've been Mars for probably eight, ten episodes though. Something. Eight, eight years. episodes. That's pretty Three decent. Months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that may change. So you guys, let's go back into the session. So uh let's play the music. Let's go with boss this one. Fight. Yeah, boss fight. Yeah, awesome. Uh you guys leave this room <laughs> feeling like really like relieved. You're like, well, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. And uh um yeah, you guys have the things that you came for. Um huh. um whoops, let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh I I take the cleaver out of Ong's mouth and I say, give me the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it takes out his mouth. Oh, okay, I can talk normally now. <laughs> um before we walk down the stairs, I wanna take out church key. Um, as we're like, as that big bargoyle is like on the, the precipice of the thing. Yeah. And I just, he's just going to like point at the gargoyle and give like a, like, I'm going to kill you because you took yeah. my knife once and then he's going to put it back in. Yeah. I'm going to walk down. So we make a perception roll. Okay. Fuck. In that one, the gargoyle comes to life. Way to go. I'm using lucky because that was a, <laughs> that was a two. <laughs> Don't poke the bear, man. You know. Holy shit! That was a natural twenty. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> well, that means I gotta do more of this. I, <laughs> cheers. I, I I enjoy that you guys hey. built it up to it being what he sees somehow making the cargo wake up or not. You uh, I was you just terrified though, bro. It's like invisible. <laughs> we all have it's like <laughs> we're all like, yeah, that's that's what happens. <laughs> um, Pogu's not good at talking shit. It almost killed them last session. <laughs> okay, oh, I mean, God. you you just you look at you look at this huge uh, gargoyle lieutenant, and you're like, I swear to God, that thing just looked at me. Yeah, bitch. And then I can go downstairs. <laughs> that's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Quietly, not not very loud. <laughs> to himself. All right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go downstairs. Okay. Yeah, great. Are you guys all going downstairs? So, so we're all yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm downstairs. Assuming there's no like cabinets or anything in the giant downstairs. gargoyle room. Um, no cabinets there. <laughs> yeah, I want to look around for valuables. I, but... I just start walking towards the exit. Yeah, great. I'm, I'm I'm definitely there too. I'm like, guys, um, don't think, don't you think it's kind of weird that we never confronted the the cleaver guy? Yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of like built up expectation. I I really thought you know we'd be going into a battle and you know one or two of us. Perish, maybe. Oh, mm -hmm. what? Oh, oh, wow. Jeez. Jesus. Really? Jesus. <laughs> Ong's like, oh, I, that seems pretty intense. You thought we were going to die? Just everyone was looking at Ong when she said that. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I, I don't know what to expect with you guys. You guys continuously get yourselves in these unusual expectations, and somehow you make it out in these, like, <laughs> silly, foolish ways. You, I don't know. It's like, you <laughs> Been trained under a drunken master of sorts, you know. That's yeah, some of us. I hey, did that. Wait a second. You were trained under Brick. He's like a drunken master of sorts. Come on. You're correct. You're correct. Maybe that's why I fancy all of you a bit. More like drunken disaster, am I right? Just kidding. I'm sorry. I take that back. Oh, He's master. master. Togu, you're going to wake up the stone version of Brick over in the corner. Dude, don't <laughs> joke about that shit, bro. <laughs> And Togu looks back up at the cargo. Oh, like scared. <laughs> Barnacles. Its eyes go the it's like two up or two. Yeah. <laughs> oh Togu just stab, and Togu just stabs himself in the heart with a rose. <laughs> <laughs> so you you guys, where are we going? Where are we going now? Um, well, well um, we need to go check on Tex mom. Oh yeah. We also need to take the the ether powder back to Tormentor so we can make sure Jolie's safe. Okay, that one oh. too. I'm so sorry. These are all great points, but I need to get to prom, you guys. 
Oh, well, I need to well, get we home. can't go to prom without Jolie. It is your coronation. Thank you. Yes, and Jolie. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Ezra just stops in her tracks, like walking out the door, just like super overwhelmed with like everything she has to do now. <laughs> Somebody help her onto Darrow's disc. <laughs> uh, but not me. I'm afraid to touch her. I get, I get poofed quite a bit. Uh, I want to hang with Tack wherever Tack's at. I light up a, a bit of halfling leaf and hang back with Esmeralda. You know what? Sometimes we all have really long lists of like to dos, and it can be overwhelming. But really, we just we can't underestimate the things that we can get done in a day. You know, yeah, yeah. even in an hour. So yeah, quite yeah. honestly, if I was you, yeah. I'd do a bit. Yeah. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. Oh God. <laughs> oh my. She's that. smoking weed through like a Cruella Deville fucking like. <laughs> it's badass. Yeah. I would do that in real sick. life if I had one. Yeah, mama, mama. <laughs> you got it. You got it. It's all right. Let's keep walking. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so, so Jace, um, do you think, you know, assuming if, if the cleaver was there, I mean, or alive even, we probably would have encountered them. So I think we can safely assume the cleaver's gone <laughs> and, you, and you can probably tell you having that, right? Uh, yeah, I mean. It, we, we, I guess we found their cleavers. I don't know. Cause he's just like holding the other two. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I can run on Wallace well, though. I mean, yeah. Take Wait, a, take him back to Yevon. Let him know that the job was done. All right. Wait, are you that. not haunted or anything? When you pick those up? Um, <laughs> he's like, oh god, <laughs> sees all these spirits. No, he's <laughs> nice, but um, like, no, I mean, they're just there's cleavers, kind of cold, cold to the touch. Um. Actually, I have a question, and Esmeralda, cut me off if you don't think this is a good idea. But since we helped out Yevon, do you think he could donate some of, you know, the art pieces in his gallery for, like, decorations for your coronation? Esmeralda. <gasps> That's I don't... a good idea! Guys, Yevon's a... Uh, 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 a bottle cap brigade meeting real fast, uh, and I just want to pull, like, them away from... from I get Jace. right up next to Adris, and I just say... Yeah, t tell me all about what you're doing. I was just like, talking to Jason. I, I pull Mars <laughs> into the thing. I'm like, honorary member. Oh, no, Mars. Yeah, I meant you too. Uh, what, guys, Yevon is a <laughs> super, super evil, evil dude. I don't think I don't, that it'd be wise I don't to wanna, conduct I don't further business. I don't want to mess with that dude anymore. Yeah. Okay. All right. I want, I want to learn all about him. Was it that right. his, like, Fair enough. Maybe, Daryl, you know what? Maybe, maybe you can go... You can head back with Jace. You know what? Up. Maybe I will, Atris. Well, good for you. I mean, write us a letter and let us know. I think how I'm hey guys, go. hey hey I think guys, I'm go. Hmm? Let's not fuck with Yevon anymore. Oh, I'm I'm yeah. I'm out. I'm, out. I'm, 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 I'm 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 not joking. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm talking to everyone here. He is not someone to take lightly. Oh, that's why yeah. I want to be his friend, Togu. Exactly. That's why Daryl well, wants to be his friend. So I'm just saying, what? I feel <laughs> like it, I, we wouldn't be good friends if we tried to stand between Darrow and his true desires. Right, guys? Darrow, what? don't fuck with Yevon. Why? I'm, I'm telling you. I because he killed me. That's why. Well, I mean, you kind of deserved it. <laughs> You're not wrong, but he did it. I had no ability to defend it i had no way of even stopping it so if you want to go and try to befriend that guy you will die okay well it sounds like a out. great person to learn so from. so so it sounds like i mean just just if we take a a long hard look at where we're all at here i i feel like all of us are trying to kill uh uh an entity that is considerably more powerful than any of us can ever dream of being. Now, I don't know about you all, uh, but I think it might behoove us to um, see if I can spend some money uh, and use some of my power and privilege uh, to get all of us as friends 
uh, a leg up in this fight. And now I, I know it might seem like I might not give a much of much of a fuck about any of you at any point, uh, and that might be true. But I, I tried to put pee you, in Togu's mouth. Yeah, he deserved that too. But I consider you all I, I my sorta, best friends. I sort of did deserve that one a little bit. And, oh and if I God. had a chance to use some of my power and pr- privilege and, uh, you know, uh, opportunity to uh, get this guy to help us. What makes uh, you think I'm he gonna... gives a shit about your power and privilege, Daryl? Well, because I, I can I can buy him all sorts of. He doesn't need. Flow. He doesn't need money. And and he's undead. Can... He doesn't need your power or privilege. Yeah, no, I, I'm sure he's got fucking interest for days. But I got real world connections, Togu. You might uh, not remember that I am a uh, Asimir of the Rossbrook line, and if he can sap some of the goodness out of me, uh, that might be useful to him. Uh, also, <laughs> I, uh... I laugh when he says the goodness out of. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, I I want to get rid of some of my divinity. I want to learn some evil shit. So he can teach me some shit. I can teach him some shit. Maybe maybe we can have him help us take on Griel. Aren't you concerned that by him taking by you taking on some of his evil natures that you too will become corrupt? Yeah, but I mean, you know, man, it's just like balance, right? You could just Zero. I am asking you as a member of the Bottle Cap Brigade to not do this, but you get to make the decisions and it, it, you get to make your own decisions and I'm not involved with it. Okay? And then I, I want think... to leave. I'm fucking leaving the door. I'm fucking over it. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. I feel like I brought on this conversa- conversation because I suggested that he donate art to prom. So, you know. Oh, it's cool. We're not going to use it anyway. It's like a techno 80s theme. Oh, so it like, okay. doesn't really fit now that I'm thinking about it. So. I just want to, um, as everyone's talking about art, I just want to think back to when I poked uh, the painting <laughs> eyes. Um, whenever that happened, like, did I poke, like, eyes? Like, like, were there holes in the painting that I put my fingers through and poked literal eyeballs? Or did I poke a hole through the painting? What happened there? Yeah, I, I think he, it seemed like you reached uh, some squishy flesh. Okay. All right. Cool. That's, that just... Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was clearly him just watching you guys. And you poked him in the eyes. I feel like that question <laughs> could also be a clip that we post later. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I want to go up to um, Jace. Wow, I totally forgot his name. I want to go yeah. up to Jace and be like, "Yeah, what else was the agreement for your freaking stupid master, or whatever it is? Like, are we done? Can we go?" Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Okay. Push so him. defensive. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. <laughs> Get out of here, how, Jace. How much did you learn from? From master did you see the walls yeah yeah i know it seems like that's it it seems think, like that's all he knows would you vouch for me could do you think he'd hook it up isn't um, he wearing butler clothes like isn't he in a little butler tuxedo no that's like, the yeah, that's the other Esmeralda, vampire guy that, that was alone. like that was like that's... scanlan or something funky oh okay yeah what do we call Never him mind, then it's like scan i've got him i know Scandid, Scandid's right. Is that right? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, look. I, thought, I was picturing him in like butler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Scandid. Me like, too. Now. Fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah. That's been this whole uh, that there defines. A little butler. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I think he's in like a nice blue suit. Hmm. Well, butler. Yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. He looks good though. He looks. He's fashionable. Like, uh, Daryl, I could certainly it. vouch for you. Uh. You seem like a pretty swell dude. I don't know. I sure as fuck am, actually. You know, uh, and I and I, <laughs> I appreciate that vote of confidence. You know, not many people can see um, through all the money and power and um, you know arcane mastery um, to see the real me. But I'm I'm glad you know you do. Yeah, I mean, Maybe. you seem like someone who's 
has the you know the tenacity the the bloodthirsty want for power um i think yeah, yeah, oh, more... he is so bloodthirsty i'm like he's so bloodthirsty shut up yeah you know really all i want case it's is, is some friends and uh unlimited supplies of power to help my friends beat this really bad guy that seems to be bothering them so thank uh, you daryl you're so thoughtful yeah i know i know i am uh, but you know the one thing that i i really want to do before before i go yeah uh, adris is is give you a kiss can i give you a kiss Oh, can I just not? Is he far away? Is that is that what's happening? Well, I figured I hadn't moved since like we went and like did our little like meeting that we had. Um. Yeah, I want to go up. I and, think Cat's frozen. And, <laughs> and make a move and try to, to give Ace a kiss. Oh, oh no! Okay, I can hear you. I'm sorry. Hi. Hey. Hi. Uh, Hi. Daryl is walking over to you, Eric, just to kiss you. Ezreal looks at Togu. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm gone. I'm outside. I was oh. like, I'm not there. The last time this happened, it caused a, a massive this like con, amount of confusion. I this is not a commu, confusion amongst everybody else. Not, what are you What are you just, talking about? I'm just I'm just like this. No, we're we're okay. But thank you so much for the offer, um, and that that means a lot. Oh, I thought we uh, were I, best I, friends. I, I, I thought we were I, best friends. Yeah, but uh, I mean, well, I mean <laughs> sure. Let's just let that be how it is. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't. Uh, I'm just not comfortable with the situation. No, that's fine. That's fine. I just I. I... Are you guys hearing him? No. I'm not hearing either of them anymore. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> oh no. Oh, here's Sam oh, Ross. It's a bit. Oh, God. <laughs> now, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah were yeah. you just trying to order food? <laughs> Drive through? Were you taking someone's what? order? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys both muted for some reason. Both you and Austin. Oh, we both did. Oh, that's yeah. Funny. Yeah, it was really weird. Uh, Funky. Okay. So, so I just, I say to Adris, I just say, I, I will just remember if I sacrifice myself, you know, for the good of the bottle cap brigade, I, I just want you to know that I thought you were my best friend over the last couple of days or weeks or mm -hmm. a couple of months, however long we've been doing this. Oh, thank you. I love you as a friend. <laughs> Back at you there, buddy. We will, we will, uh, if anything happens, we'll sing a lot of songs. Esmeralda, you're a great fish. Mars. I'm gonna keep this butterfly really kind of safe. It's a mosquito, so. <laughs> but Darrow doesn't know that. <laughs> he thinks it's a beautiful butterfly. Yeah, I sure do. Tack, I I want you to never remember, never forget your childhood, and always remember the friends you made along the way, and know that even though your childhood is being stolen from you actively, uh, that you deserve kind of the best sometimes and I hope you grow up to be kind of like me, okay? That was a lot. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably see you again, but I just want you to know all that shit in case I die, okay? Okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, sh shut up. Like, you're not really leaving. I'm though, going. Right? I'm going. What? What? Where? I'm going with Jacob to to it's go from, from Twilight. It's Jacob. Yeah, I'm oh, going with <laughs> I'm going with Jacob back to the vampires lair to it's learn. Chase. A, it's J Jamie. With Jacob, uh, yeah. To <laughs> learn everything that I can about uh, the vampires' power, so we can hope I can help you guys actually defeat Griald instead of just getting your asses handed to you all the time like you usually do. But you're gonna miss prom. I'll be at prom in spirit, and I send Ong over to Esmeralda, and I just say, "Take care of her, Ong." <laughs> Ong just have... Ong looks at you, Esmeralda's like, "Hi, hey, man." I say, I say very tearfully, "Fuck you." 
Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> fuck me. Uh, and uh, I then I go up to. T- I go up to Togu. Yeah, you, she does have both ongs now. Yeah. And then I go up to Togu uh, <laughs> and I say, I, I take my flesh tube. Uh, I actually just take my entire like inventory. Uh, like I take my satchel and I hang it around Togu's neck and I take the flesh tube out of it. Um, and I kind of rest it on his shoulder. And I just say, I, I need you to look after this for me um, for when I get back. Uh, also take my dragon egg and I push uh, the dragon egg over to you on the desk. What is happening? No. Very confused. Yeah, I, I Togu doesn't say anything. So are you just going to leave us? I'll be back. This is for the better. Trust me. But you're our bankroll. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's okay. Ta- uh, t- Right. Togu has some extra money now. Um, I dropped it in the chat. Uh, oh my and, god! And other... <laughs> Your stupid inventory. You guys, Togu. <laughs> Togu now has a letter with a sealed emblem on it. A pound of alligator meat. You're playing put it in cards. The Twitch chat. Two crocodile eyes. It's so much. Hotel by Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that one is. You have four <laughs> ounces um, of the, almond those flour. Are, those are his robes. <laughs> <laughs> he has really robes. nice knitted scarves. <laughs> A half jar of Marion Johnson jam. Wilson peanut butter. What is your inventory and how did this happen? <laughs> how are you surprised? <laughs> There was a he couple put... more things. <laughs> you have an eight out of ten punch card. We don't know what it's to. No, that's just that's uh, the clacks on clacks on punch yeah. card. Oh, okay, yeah. good. good. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? All right, that's a lot of stuff. You, you're giving up. You're giving up all your all your possessions, Darrow. Just Book for of now. Necromancy too. Yep. Good. Good for you. Oh no, I keep I keep the book of necromancy. No, for sure. you don't. No, you don't. No, oh, you shit. fucking don't. Shit. Okay, you keep just keep, uh, hang on to it. Maybe when <laughs> when I learn enough from this vampire bitch, I can decipher it really quickly. I want to. Oh, you want the necromancy book? No, I know you're dead. This is right? what you want. You hang on to it. Oh, I want to be a dick so bad, but I'm not going to do it. Ezreal does drama meter, feels it, and she's like, fucking do it. Are you going to fondle my balls with your mage hand? What are you doing? (laughs) I want to open the book. I want to take out the necromancy book and open it and grab the first page and be like, Darrow, if you leave, I'm not giving you any of this back. That's okay. No, learn as much as you can. And I rip rip off the first page. That's fine. Of the book. The second page. It's okay. I'm still not bummed about this. Third page. Okay. I. Why? Well, I. I mean, maybe you can learn some stuff from it, Togu. I, you can, and you can just put the pages back in. I. <laughs> I. I mean, unless you're gonna eat the pages themselves. I think this is a great fit. But Daryl, I just want. I just want you to know, I am very proud of you for letting go of your earthly possessions. I'm taking I, steps I, and growing. You've taught me so you, much. You you sure are. You sure are. And and I'm 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 proud of you. You know that that was that was a big deal. You know you 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 showed that there are there are more important things than than stuff. Yeah, it's friends. Money. It's friends. It is friends. Um, As well as a, like visibly gasp at that. <laughs> like, um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, if uh, if you need anything, you know where to reach us. Um, please don't let the evil overlord, you know, kick you on the way out. Right. <laughs> um, but uh... I go up to Jace, and I I uh, I push him a little again. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> I, I was like, shut up. She does, that, she does that a lot to me too. It's, I, um, push, I push I push Airtress out. I'm emotional. You don't let anything happen to this sweet rich boy's head, okay? Or oh. else I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. I won't. Thank you, and I push him again. <laughs> uh, oh god. Can one of you just go <laughs> Oh what is this? Oh you're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, fucking blowfish. 
<laughs> and I uh, 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 fly into a rage. <laughs> oh fuck! He's like, I'm and sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Esmeralda he used all his spell slots. I assume. I assume that <laughs> yeah, he looks to the wall. He's like, Damn it. like <laughs> tries to come down from it. It sounds like when you've got a full balloon. And you're yeah, like, it's very yeah. similar. It's just like... <sighs> and I, 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 I go to push to again. Nice. Okay, okay. I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Uh, Daryl, are you coming with me? Yeah, can I have a piggyback ride? No, no. I, I turn Cheers. to him and I say, yes! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, what a stupid way for Daryl to leave. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. As I'm going to roll as for As they're it. leaving. <laughs> as they're Put leaving. Jace on your disc. <laughs> oh, my God. And then get on his back. He's He, like, as reluctantly they're... turns away. And he's, like, hunches over. He's, like, come on. I get on fucking really slowly. <laughs> like, so, like, I, I, uh. I... I get on like this. Wait, this is gonna be for all you folks still still watching the the stream. This is gonna be a treat. So I, I get on <laughs> like this. I I'm like <laughs> you're lame. <laughs> Don't fall over. <laughs> no, please do. <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> it's like in his ear. He's like, ah. Uh, uh. As they're leaving, I want to get. Oh, uh, Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm not sure if everything's in here. Do Do you have any um bottle caps still on you? I I I had one bottle cap at one point. I'll, I'll just I'll say uh, I had one bottle cap at one point, Togu, but I fucking threw it away because I didn't know well, what to do with it. Here, Perfect. take this one. And no, I, I wanna, we're good. He I can get it later. I want to flick him the one, the one I, I got. Wanna, I'm, ca I'm mage handing it and grabbing it out of the air. Hey, no, he needs, he needs to remember he's a bottle cap creator. No, give it you can me. get it when you come back. And then okay. I just want to, I want to lug everything up and I want to start walking towards Tax house. I'll get it from you, Togu. Just know I love you and I think your spirit is incredible. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, well, now I don't have a bottle cap. And I just follow <laughs> wherever anybody else is going. Odd. An odd instance. I'm sorry, Bottle Cat Brigade. That, that's quite sad. Yeah, Tack just keeps like looking back. Yeah. And you guys Darrow. just keep seeing him being carried. He's like, Jesus Christ. Darrow is crying when he looks back <laughs> at Tack. But... I almost literally did like the go on git. <laughs> All right, should we check in on your mom? Are you ready for that talk? Hopefully my mom told her. Wait, guys. Should we just isn't Torment on the way to to tax moth? Yeah. Well, I mean, we definitely, we definitely have to do that. I just <clears throat> let's just I know stop that... by there. I've already got the, we've got the potion or the the powder. Let's just go there first. I can go to torments. Okay. It, Tack, is that okay with you? Because yeah. I mean, I, that was a really damn. Um, and and it's possible that when we go to torments, it might take a little bit longer to, you know, I just I just don't want to get stuck and then not have uh, you be able to reconcile things. Maybe even writing a letter to your parents, even if you don't see them. The one of you write it for me. I'll write it yes. for you if you tell me what to Our write. Our little illiterate buddy. <laughs> I'll only write it if I get to Backward. guess what you want me to write in it. <laughs> so, sounds like I've got a couple writers on my team. All right. All right. I'll do it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. You can also what do it. I do, Let's darling. compare. It's okay. <laughs> We well, do this, this is back awkward. and forth as you we're walking have to. to. Do it. <laughs> we, I start walking and I'm, I'm playing with Ra. I like, no, you can write it too. Like, it's it's so fun. You. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I lean over to Togu. I'm like, they're so high right now. 
Toby's still pretty mad. He's gonna give like the like, oh, that's funny. Nah, you know what I mean. Like, I'm not gonna laugh because I'm pissed, but it's funny. So I'll give you like that. Mm -hmm. And we're walking. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> yeah. So you guys, where you guys are going to Torments? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, we are. I don't know. Do we want to go to Torments? Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. Wait. Can we go back okay. in? Get to the... <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to prom. I wanna go to the ice cream parlor. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve. Can we? It, can we look at the map real fast? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking ice cream? <laughs> When the fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Noble. Um, yeah, so you guys uh, make your way to Torvinds. Uh, you, you know, you go through kind of the same pretty magical way. Uh, you go to this, it's like this old bar, right? And you remember the closet. Um, and yeah, you guys go to the closet in between like the coats. is like this long hallway that slowly gets smaller. And uh, eventually you do, you know, uh, make it into Torvinds. And let's play this. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, you guys go through this uh, amazing journey, um, and you get to you get to Tormentor's uh, laboratory. Um, as you guys get there, uh, you can see uh, Torment is just like working like furiously over like this this table, just working on stuff. It hasn't noticed you guys yet. He's just like, ah, this is not oh. <laughs> I want to throw a bottle cap at him. You want to throw? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It hits him in the back of the head. He turns around like, oh, and I'm going to attack. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> um, hello. I was, uh, how, how did your journey fare? We found her. Uh, oh, you, you mean your mom? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's she doing? Oh, she's been uh, better. She's been better. We have no idea. We came here first. Just <laughs> <laughs> that sounds peculiar. Well, we just we, well we we knew we needed to get you the the ether powder um, in order uh, before uh, yeah. Uh, before time ran out, so. Oh, you got it! And he's, like, cl he's like climbing yeah. up your body. Let me see it! Let me see it! Oh, uh, Togu has it. Yeah. And he like tackles you, Togu. Uh, here's the powder. Yeah! <laughs> and he like takes like. Bopes <laughs> in it, puts his finger in it. Whoa! That's the stuff! That's exactly what we need! Eat that? That's like soul <laughs> magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 uh, oh, oh, Zach! I got, okay, actually, well, all of you, I got two surprises! Count them, two! Okay. First one's for you, Zach! Come over here! Posa! <laughs> Posa! You're, like, touching noses, he's like, Good! Now look this way, and he like holds your head. And he's like trying to like turn your head. You're like ow, ow, ow. It's like it's just going against your body or the direction your body's facing. And so he's like, see that curtain over there? Do you see it? The curtain. Well, yeah. Who uh? Who look behind it? Okay. Actually, I'll take you there. And he like holds your eyes. He's like, come on, take this way. Warmer, warmer. It's cold, it's cold. What are you doing? This way. Like, he knows tinker. where he's going. <laughs> he's like, okay, are you ready to? Uh, you play the game. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready. Okay. You hear, shh, as he opens the curtains, like, open them. And as you open your eyes, uh, you see a perfect replica of your old body. Oh. Ev down to every detail. I mean, you're perfectly naked, so you know your body quite well, hopefully, but it's like every toenail, all three everything. Penises. All three pieces. <laughs> they're all there. And, uh, yeah. I want to lean over to Eridris and just whisper, whatever we do, don't yank him down from there. That's, yeah, yeah. Bad timing. My bad. 
His mother was just on one side. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I don't know, I know. Humor helps trauma sometimes. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Dak? Pretty cool. I, uh, I took a couple samples of your DNA when you were here last. <laughs> I kind of didn't tell you about it, but I'm a big surprise. Yeah, this is a, a lot to take in. Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything for you until you, you know, you go and, and get the Jaconium. But uh, at least for now, um, it's ready for you, you know? Yeah, Tax is going to, like, walk up to it and just kind of, like, start touching it and feeling it. Yeah. Where? Nipples. Titty twisters. Gives yeah. Titty twisters. Yeah, yeah, okay. No. Yeah, that's that's I just, I really want to it. I'm like, I'm like, I know that this is technically fine. It just still looks weird. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's what happened. <sighs> self love, self love, bro. What? The, yeah, I mean, not wrong. I know, just conceptually, it's, <laughs> uh, it doesn't change the way it looks, though. Dude, love doesn't make sense, bro. <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's, oh, he's restarting. So... He's cranking it, and then he's, he's like going back, and he's cranking it more. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, he's just too fast. Now. He, 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 he like grabs. He's like, okay, Jack. Okay, okay, leave him alone. Leave him alone now. Like, now. <laughs> uh, so Torment, did you back say... around the direction the other way? <laughs> Pack has really, I mean, Pear has really long nipples. So. Uh, he does now. <laughs> Do they, like, after you twist them, they untwist like super fast. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, they're like uh, helicopters. Like, okay, so. Um, he goes like, oh, okay, it's like Jack, a remote okay, control okay. when you hold it to get it on. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Is it, oh, 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 God. oh, I have a, I have one other surprise for you guys. Yeah, what? What is it? Okay. Um, maybe it's best. Maybe it's best for, uh, for her to show you. JJ! And out comes around the corner uh, of the room is Jolie in a very different outfit. Um, Jolie? Yeah, uh, wearing, uh, <laughs> he's like, blown away. Like, yeah. My character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jolie has been, uh, sorry, yeah, Jolie, I, I almost called you Jolly. Jolie comes around the corner, um, wearing a very, very different outfit, uh, duly unprepared for this moment, apparently, and, um, on <laughs> earlier. Oh, yeah. No, well, um, uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, this is the fun surprise. I have to surprise oh. you as well. So, um, and it, she seems like, uh, like her, all of your, all of your, like, inventory is, is like, you don't have the same things anymore. And you have, like, made clothes out of, like, animals that you have killed. I mean, you are, like, you have been in survival mode for, like, mm -hmm. a long time. Running away from, like, huge dinosaurs, barely surviving in the Fey world somehow. Um, and... Yeah, uh, Tormund was able to bring you back. I don't know what to say. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> and Hi. I've been through a lot, and I'm sure you have too. Um, if you could tell, I've, um, you know, I've really leaned into the life in the Feywild. Um, but quite honestly, I didn't think I'd be seeing y'all here now. Um, I, I, oh, we didn't think so either. We thought we had to get this powder for it to happen. Can, can we have a group hug? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Just run up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't <laughs> worry. <gasps> <gasps> okay. Yeah. Mars, you want to come in for the group <laughs> hug, too? Um, sure. Um, yes, hello, I'm Mars. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm from the Feywild. She's not a part of the Bottle Cap Brigade, but she's a visitor. So she's, she's not a that? she's a friend. Oh, she's yeah. A friend. Okay, cool. Um, Mars, great to meet you. The Feywild is truly lovely, but my God, is it fucking terrifying when you are on your own? 
I know, darling. It could be <laughs> treacherous. Um, you know, maybe if you guys ever do visit the Feywild, I could give you, you know, some pointers here and there. It's not the easiest place to, um, you know, to navigate. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Mars. Come on in. I love a good group hug. Uh, as you guys are hugging, Torment's like, I have to one more surprise. God damn, what? Uh, um, and as you guys are hugging, you look over at him. And he's like, it should be. He's looking at his watch. So he's made his steam powered watch. Like now, as this cart comes crashing through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Auto cat brigade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this Eddie Murphy? Oh my God. <laughs> it's freaking. It's Robin. It's uh, what's the movie Prince Al or Prince Ali? It's just that song where Miranda's just gonna do an entire session by herself. <laughs> I love it. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Bottle Cat Brigade. I didn't think I'd make it in time. Um, as you're all. Well aware, prom is tomorrow. And while, I'm sorry, Esmeralda, I know. Um, <laughs> while I am not, you know, quite, I don't know a lot about proms and things like that. I, um, as one of the high wizards of the realm, I watch out for the Bottle Cat Brigade. I've had premonitions that the whole lot of you um, are going to do great things and you need to stick to the timeline you're on and so, I've taken it upon myself to ensure that all of you keep with this trajectory. And quite honestly, I've looked at other timelines and if you miss prom, everything goes to shit. <laughs> you have to go to prom. Ezreal punches the wall next to her. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, don't you worry. Um, while I was, you know, helping find Jolie in the Feywild, I, took it upon myself to put together a prom planning committee just for you. I went through a whole interview process. They are waiting until you return so you can tell them exactly what to do to make sure prom <sighs> is precisely what it needs Thank to you be. so much. Oh my God. And I've been working hard too. I got a date and I turn around and I realize that, that my date is like, I can't find my date anywhere. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric just kind of like looks at Jolie and smiles like... Excited about prom. <laughs> a date. Wow, do we have a lot of catching up to do, Eridris? My God. Yeah. Wow. So I think it's a reunion then at prom. Are, are any more of Mar uh, of uh, Miranda's characters <laughs> going to show up? In the it's me, the doorknob. I know. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's the avocado lady. <laughs> oh my god. Um all right, yeah. Um and the turbo looks you guys wait, so you, you guys can uh, go to prom tomorrow. Uh, or I, or you could go to the Fey Room. I think we have everything we need to do it, so uh it's your guys' punch choice. Him in the face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a man of options. And I am a woman of prom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it an in in animus? That's what you guys are doing? What? <laughs> what? What? It's an animal. What did you say? Klaxon <laughs> just said we have to not fuck up the timeline. Plus, oh, I did say it's holy an option. shit, I need some prom right now. Me too. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Look at Jolie's outfit. What does the outfit look like? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was described as like animal skins and stuff, but like. Yeah. It's, like cave woman? It's, yeah, it's, it's cave woman. It's Rambo bikini, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Look at that outfit. <laughs> oh, Air Juice, I'm not planning on wearing this to prom. This is just all that I can handle in the Feywild. This is all I can Oh, no. Oh, I, I mean, I just mean you've, you've, I mean, you've been through a lot, right? Like, and you could totally use some prom right now. Like, look at, you, you literally, how many, how many animals is this? And I just want to start counting, like, how many different kinds of animals are featured in her attire. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, they're all animals you've <coughs> never seen before, but at least the six. The is full of diversity. <laughs> I mean, truly, it's a beautiful thing, and I feel bad, but, you know, they attacked me, and then I had to defend myself and kill them, and then I needed clothes. Yeah, that's hey, you... You you seem to to have used every part of the animal, and and that is honorable. That's that's part of the cycle of life. And 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 look at you being respectful. And you know, yeah. I did it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Should we go to prom? Let's go to fucking prom. Yes. <laughs> I've, been, I've been I've been kind of like next to the whole time, like. Ah! <laughs> I... like off to the side practicing dancing. <laughs> yes, Tech. Yes. 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 Mark's still, still holding on to nipples. Yes. Mark's, like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, if 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 we're going to prom, what about what about Dara? I look at Jolie like. Hey. Oh. What happened to Darrow? He's still alive. He didn't die. He's totally alive. He's. He just, that sounds like he's not alive still. I know. No, I know. He's like I shouldn't have said totally. Alive. Is Ong still on her shoulder? Just out of care. Oh yeah. Me. Can I keep yeah. Ong? Yeah. Uh, okay. Technically, not very, very long, but yeah, he's with you now. <laughs> I'm just oh, like. No. <laughs> 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 like, what about Darrow? And then Ong explodes. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! And then Jolie takes the feathers and like adds it to adds her bikini. It makes it yeah. into, into earrings. <laughs> Sam, are you looking that up right now? I don't know. Collar. <laughs> I I mean he can he can technically let me look it up. I I, I feel I like there's a distance if, limit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I just can't communicate with him after a certain point, but let me look it up really quick because I'm honestly, everyone drink because I have to look up a rule. Oh, hey. hey, I'm all out of chalky milk. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I got a little bit. Are you, drink, you serious? He drank all 64 ounces of chocolate milk. <laughs> okay, so he can growler of chocolate milk. He can last, so on can last indefinitely um, and act oh. independently of me and my commands. Uh, unless wow. he drops to zero hit points. Um, once he passes 100 feet away from me, we cannot communicate telepathically. Okay. That's well, it. I know what I'm going to be playing at prom. And <laughs> hey, got that sorted. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I just kind of <laughs> d- tell Joe, I'm like, Jolie, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to catch up on. We'll tell yeah. you about He's okay. Yep. He's, you know, he's there. He is in a very good place for him. Oh, well, that's great. And it might actually work He'll out. He'll make really him well. sound like he's <clears throat> dead. I, yeah. Damn it! <laughs> he's in a. It did. He exists. Better. On the plane, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or just eternally. Okay, got it. Yeah, uh, I start, he started an apprenticeship in. under an evil vampire overlord. We'll get into it. Come on, everybody, into the cart. <laughs> yeah. So you guys start okay. going into the cart. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Klaxon loads you guys all up. Um, everybody in. I got some new upgrades. Um, also, on the um, countertop is some discount codes for you guys. Just kind of take free range <laughs> of all the inventory. It's prom. Or just pulls out a cell phone and starts scanning QR codes <laughs> to try to get. <laughs> I. Ezreal hey, I've got a group on. <laughs> Ezreal finds the cheap like champagne and the very shitty like glass flutes like in the back of a limo that and she yes. is popping like a, <laughs> like a prom limo and she starts popping and like handing totally. it. It came on ice in like a uh, like a fucking little basket that's like sitting. Yeah, there. it's like enjoy prom. <laughs> you have a selection I will. of Thank corsages. <laughs> All right. Um, so are you guys getting on there? Are you guys are going then? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you guys watch as the, or I mean, the viewers, you watch as the uh, cart starts to, to leave the station. Um, and it just like enters through like this portal. Um, and at the same time, uh, it's kind of more intense music than I wanted. <laughs> It was like dun 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 dun. Okay, so um, like the also, Donkey Kong level. Yeah, it was intense. 
uh, at the same time, in a decently far away place, um, Darrow can be seen making some sort of exchange of fealty uh, with this vampire king. And these markings are being engraved into his forearm. Um, and he's just it, like taking this pain and, think, and thinking the whole time, like, this is worth it. I will become more powerful than anyone else. Totally has a boner. <laughs> yeah. Was... Yeah, he has a massive fucking boner. And <laughs> it, like, it, it, is, it is now <laughs> what he sounds like. <laughs> I think we all knew how he was really feeling about it. <laughs> I feel like Yevon would have had to be like, stop making that sound at me, Darrow. Just like, uh, I'm this is shit. like scared of how rock hard Darrow is at this point. Knife <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, And yeah, so that's the last scene. What do you want to say, Darrow? The last thing you see, uh, seen, um, but as like this marking is being finished and like you cannot refuse him anymore. Like it is like your willpower is uh is like defeated by this yeah i i turn to uh uh the vampire and uh jables and i just say oh you boys get ready for some fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> and with that we're gonna end the session thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> um uh. wow yeah so good um I, this has been a, a very interesting arc, uh, full of highs and lows. And uh, next week, we're mostly super, lows. Mostly lows. Next week, we have a super special session uh, where Cat is gonna be DMing prom. So I hope you guys are excited. Uh, um, it's gonna be totally uh, different. Apparently, Darrow isn't gonna be there, and we'll figure that out. And uh, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> It, it actually, everything that happened makes a lot of sense for his character arc, so I, I'm in for it. Um, and, and we'll chat offline a little bit about uh, some stuff. No spoilers yeah. for all the folks watching right now. Let's chat about this stuff. This is an emotional episode. <sighs> it was. Yeah! It absolutely was. It was really good. A lot of fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, Austin and I are going to play some magic after this, so stick around. And uh, we'll be back next Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye-bye.